What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense. And I literally told y'all that this would be one of those nights where you're probably going to need a drink. So I have one. And it's a lot. We're going to go through it all. Um, somebody said, how like speak? Um, I'm going to eventually drop the link. Once I drop the link, you just click it and you'll be able to come up. Um, and I'm pretty sure y'all going to have some opinions because now people are split. So like the video as the intro plays, because I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. I want right. to make it make sense. Make it make sense. That's all. One and one got to equal two. <laughs> make it make sense, boo. <laughs> Big moves. Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. She can't run. Now, now, now who can't run? Now who can't run? Who can't run? Yeah, yeah. Y'all know I miss Sharonda. <laughs> Every now and then we got to pull Sharonda back. Okay. So now we kind of know how the information was disseminated. We now know that Darius chose to go through Armand Wiggins. Armand Wiggins has a really big blog. He started disseminating information to Armand. And Armand started like kind of like piecemealing it, I would say, early yesterday. And had said he was going to go live, but then he didn't go live. So people were really waiting on that because at this point, nobody's really technically heard from Darius except for like kind of cryptic tweets or his brother. Now y'all tell me, why didn't Darius's brother ever use that insecure money to fix his teeth? Just a quick question. Because he's philandering, he had cheated on his girlfriend, he was living the life, talking about Amanda Seals. Meanwhile... You had your own stuff to be working on. Just a thought. <laughs> Just a thought. But okay. So he released all of the audio between Kiki's mom and Darius. But he did it a day late. By this point, Darius had already given it to other blogs. So apparently Darius was playing with Armand on the back end. So this is, I think I have something of what Armand had to say about it. Where is it? Oh, I don't think it's... Dang it. I'll read it to you. It says, Don't get it twisted. It's really F. Darius and his team. I'm not on their side. They sent me the info, play games with me all day. Having me not put the info out, all kinds of shit, just to send it to other people. When I was trying to be respectful and move with integrity. So now I'm just giving y'all what they gave me. I don't care. So that's what Armand said. Then Armand went live and Armand started sharing everything. So we are going to listen to what happened. That you put it through? That you put it through? What the fuck is you saying, Ingrid? That you put it through? Can you speak English? That's part of the reason why you can't get no acting job. I'm sure. I'm sure. What the fuck are you saying? I'm sure. Armand Wiggins. I, 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 if, if, if only, if only, if only you actually like. What does that mean? And he's trying to say he's trying to do the whole child actor parents um, sacrifice their childhood gag. Oh well, okay, well we got thirty million dollars today. Look at her. That's fine. Yeah, I'm trying to find her. Okay, Mom Wiggins. What does your mom do to you? Huh? She fucked you up. My mom's fine. You should have been about that table. You should have been one. Maybe you would have more options. Maybe you would have more shit to do it. Because your mama fucked you up. She turned you into a punk-ass mama's boy who harasses a woman. What kind of bullshit is that? Your mama should be ashamed of herself. She should be telling you, why are you harassing this girl? Because why are you doing this? 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 Why are you doing this?
She's the one that kept wanting to come back around. Trust me, I didn't want this. But that makes no sense as to why you harass. You know, there's no need to say horrible things. They send me this usher picture. There's no reason for that. You do that because you're nuts. There's no reason for you to say that. Jezebel, calling me Haiti. That's all necessary. You do all of that unnecessarily because something's wrong with your mind. It's I'm not normal. Him. You sound like you have a broken brain and you need to go to see somebody because you're chemically imbalanced. There's nothing that I've done for you to stay on that page. People have endured more. I've endured more from you and I don't do that to you. I don't sit up there and call y'all kinds of names and do stuff like that. You randomly have had an episode and then you harass me for an hour straight. I'm on with you. Now, now I'm gonna it's not you. normal. It's I'm not necessary. You. you can just not talk to me. I'm gonna rack you up and that quote. So let me give you context, right? One thing about recording somebody who does not know they're being recorded, you have the upper hand. You can poke, you can prod. If you for any of us, if you think that you're in a situation where the conversation is just you and the person, you're going to be more inclined to speak freely. You're not going to parse your words. So anytime you see somebody who has done this, just know in the back of their mind, they have probably premeditated releasing this, right? So I'm going to be, I'm a fair person. I'm a straight shooter, pow, pow. Y'all know how it goes. I'm going to show you and let you guys see things from his vantage point. I've already shown you from Kiki's vantage point. That's when you guys can make informed decisions on how you feel about the situation. How do I feel even after seeing the evidence? I still think he's a man who puts his hands on women. That's just my opinion. But, you know, I wasn't there. So uh, let's continue. Y'all know how we do around here. So a straight shooter. Pow, pow. <laughs> and... I'm on with you. I'm on with you. So this is when she throws Usher into it and says that Usher is bisexual and everybody on earth knows that. You stupid mf -er. Now, Usher, who has just been living his best life, selling out all these concerts, is sitting at home as the news hits that Kiki Palmer's mom just outed him and <laughs> Kiki was in the background agreeing with her. Usher is now... That's so now, true. why I am I here? And you could have did it. See, so, I get I did it. You never apologize. <laughs> Usher is like, what just happened? So if you did not hear that... An hour straight. I'm on with you. Now, now I'm it's not you. normal. It's not necessary. You. you can just not talk to me. I'm going to ask you. Up is bisexual. He sleeps with me and you stupid motherfucker. I'm on with you. You should know you spent a lot of time with Julie. I'm a butcher. You the dumb motherfucker. And then you let your family, you let your brother talk you into, oh, hey man, look, your brother's a pussy too. His reputation in Hollywood is he's a fuck boy and he's an asshole and nobody really likes him. Lauren London don't like his ass. I'm on with you. So, at the end of the day, Lauren London is like, wait, hold up. How am I involved in the, the name dropping Mama Palmer? <laughs> oh my God. And you could have did now it. See, so I, get I, did it. You never I, did. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, what's up, the real estate insider? The real estate insider. Um, if you don't know him, definitely check him out. He just hit 50,000 subscribers today and I think he actually, if you're interested in the whole Krishan Rock situation, he did a video on where Krishan lives and gives you guys info on that. His name is The Real Estate Insider on YouTube. Candace Godson, Armand has flipped the script within the last two hours. He's going full throttle towards Kiki and mom. I don't, you know, I know who Armand is. I don't technically... Um, watch all Armand's stuff. Um, usually if he's talking about like um, like a like a Mega the Stallion and stuff, I'll definitely check it out. But I don't have time to watch every content creator. I'm definitely subscribed to Armand. I don't know the ins and outs, but I did see this last video and I do feel as though he feels that Darius has presented more information. So he is more leaning towards Darius's side. Thank you, Candice, for the super chat. I appreciate you. This is a lot, y'all. I told you, strap up, grab a drink. You, the Jacksons, are fucking jokes. You guys are fucking jokes. That's what you are. You're a fucking joke. 
So don't blame Kiki for being a joke. You was a joke before you met her. Armando. And I, oh. Don't blame her. Don't call her cunt. And what man thinks they're going to call the mother of the show? Don't blame Kiki. What is happening? For being a joke. You was a joke before you met her. Armand Wiggins. So don't blame her. Don't call her cunt. And what man thinks they're going to call the mother of their child cunt, bitches, whores, you been run through, but I'm going to come and get the baby. What kind of mental motherfucker are you? Nobody does that, that dare you. Nobody does that. What the that's what woman? What? Yeah, that see you next Tuesday word. That's a real nasty piece of work. And I don't technically know anybody who throws that word around except for maybe Kenya. <laughs> but there is, if you. <sighs> Just as I thought, trash. A woman wants their child to go be with a man who calls them cunts and bitches. That's the stupidest thing I've ever. If my daughter ever, ever give you the baby after you call her a cunt, I'm going to be high ass. I'm on with you. The baby's gonna be back in my arms. I'm like, oh, you're never supposed to happy. He's gonna grow up to be a man, a real man, and he's gonna go ahead and come on over. All right. Notice, okay. So, guys, you remember what I was telling you earlier? If you're just coming in here, think about this. Do you see how calm he is? We have seen the steals where he can be violent. However, in this situation, he's very measured. He's very calm. That's because he's baiting them into this conversation. Anytime you see somebody who is very, very calm while you're riled up, automatically come back, reel it in, because they might be doing some stuff like this where they're recording you to use it against you. Uh, Candace, thanks for the super chat. Mama P did fully read the entire Jackson family. Well, she didn't talk about the brother's teeth, so at least she didn't go super low. I'm his dad. I'm his dad. I'm his dad. I don't care about what you all think. I don't care what you think, especially yeah, Kiki. I don't care about what anybody else thinks. Sharon, your opinion is very little to me. You're, you're, you're wasting your breath right now, Sharon. You're, you're, you're wasting your breath right now. You're wasting your breath right now. Trust me. Yeah. Ah! I felt that. <laughs> I felt it in my spirit. Bro, I've seen this like. 20 different times, Sharon. It doesn't phase me anymore. None of what y'all do phase me anymore. Come on now. Where's my son at? Where's my son at? Come on with you. Okay. She okay. said you gonna get to arrest yo I'm sure. at mama. So now the mama going to jail? And so clank the clank. Clank the clank. Really? The bar soap? Yeah. You might want to help your husband. That, that. I'm looking. <laughs> that's what you raised. That's what you raised. Okay. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Ah, okay. I'm with you. Yeah. You're a dick sucking motherfucker. All right. So oh, about that bullet? My God. All right, so about that bullet again? I'm with you. Okay. Keep fucking with me. Okay. Uh, y'all do y'all have no do you stepped up and play with but it's all good. No ma'am. Yeah. No ma'am. Nope. So I can't be nice, but you gonna talk about my daughter? You gonna rock my daughter? You gonna talk about Usher? Usher is gay. Usher is gay, guys. Told to put some clothes on. 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 She's a mom. She has to put some clothes on. So now what am I And you could have did it. See, I get it. Yeah. Okay. People. So where my they son go? My family. They are harassing my daughter. Where's my son at? Even Marcus, jo even Marcus Johnson, the nigga that your brother's named after, his so kids no. told me. Okay. So I want to say this because before we continue on, <clears throat> Kiki Palmer's mom says she only called Usher gay to protect Kiki. The lie I told about Usher was to get Darius to stop abusing my daughter. This was her words in her tweet. The lie I told about Usher was to get Darius to stop abusing my daughter on account of his jealousy. So I said he didn't like women for her safety. Everything else I meant with my chest and didn't expect anyone to hear it because recording me is illegal. I guess he is okay with jail, but I knew that when he put his hands on my daughter. He is still abusing her in all of this, trying to paint himself as a victim. Textbook behavior. So it's important that we say that. In terms of Usher being gay or bisexual, I have never 
heard anything about Usher being gay. What I have heard is that Usher was introduced into a lifestyle of kind of like debauchery at a very young age through Diddy. Apparently, I want to say maybe he was like 14, 15. His parents let him go to, you know, work on his music, but he was he was there under the tutelage of Diddy. So I almost feel like Usher has talked about growing up very fast, but it's never been anything about men. So just FYI, just putting that out there. <laughs> uh, maybe he, you know, is a womanizer, but I've never heard that he was Will Smith in his way through the industry. Allegedly, just playing, y'all, just playing, just playing. <laughs> Just playing. Do not get me. Just playing, Will and Jada. Don't come after me. I'm trying to grow here. <laughs> okay. Um, let's continue. Oh, wait. Did y'all even see that? I don't think you saw it. My bad. This was the tweet. My bad. This is what I was reading from. I forgot that I hadn't that that tab wasn't open. Oh, wait, you can't hear it? Hold on. You guys are saying there's no sound? Let's see. Okay, I fixed it. Come on. Fuck you. You ain't got a family. Get your dad's family. Your dick sucking brother. Your sister that you choke. Your immigrant bitch ass mom. Nigga, please. They have nothing to do with this. They have nothing to do with this. They have nothing to do with this. Yeah, they do. They no, they don't. Come on, Wiggins. She's the one that got you thinking you can go out and harass women because your dad harassed her. Okay. And your brother told me. Your brother told me. His mom's crazy. We've never been able to do anything with her. I don't know why my son stayed with her. But Come yeah, on. she's crazy. And if Barry is listening to her, he should be ashamed of himself. That's what your damn grandma told me. That's your it. grandma told me your mama was crazy. And then if you wanted to listen to your mama, she's then you need to let you go. You both need medical medical yeah, medicine. Grandma Come on, if you wanted to keep listening to your mama, then Kiki needed to let you go. Because Kiki is a brilliant person, and Darius should be lucky to have her. So if you think she's a cunt, you think she's a whore, then why don't you take your lip dick and find uh, the woman that you want to find? Why are you over my daughter's house? Why are you over my daughter's house? My son. My son. For my son. For my son. Why harass me? You don't have to harass me. My son. But you don't have to harass me. My son. Where's my son? Where's my son? Where's my son? That's all I'm just asking for. I'm not here for her. Mon Wiggins. Yo, that was crazy. She said you limped it. <laughs> oh my God. Get her on Beverly Hills Housewives. Get her on the Beverly Hills Housewives. That's what the mom played no games. She pulled no punch. <laughs> okay, but let's keep moving. We got like over a thousand in the chat. Definitely hit that like button, guys. Um, because, whew. okay, we're not done yet. So Armand definitely decided to let the people know exactly what Darius wanted to convey to the public. So let's start here. <clears throat> 
Um, if you don't know Armand Wiggins, I'll definitely link his video in the description of this video. But basically, he showed these images. Now, these images allegedly are of what Darius is saying are his DV wounds. He is saying that Kiki abused him, and these are the photos taken to support that. Now, it looks like they're dating back to August of 2021. I don't know what these are, uh, but in all fairness, I'm just giving you guys both sides. He also went on to put this excerpt up. So he sent this to Armand to paint a picture of Kiki because Kiki wrote this in her book. She says, as my resentment, resentment grew, my darkness started showing up. Old bad habits, defense mechanisms. Hurt people, hurt people. Sometimes I went off on him just to get a rise out of him. I couldn't express my pain and the fact that he couldn't see I was hurting caused me, I think, to subconsciously show him through making him feel that same hurt. And just like that, our relationship became physically and emotionally abusive and mostly on my part. Sometimes we think only guys can be abusive and it's not true. Things can get out of hand for anyone when you have feelings you, you, when you, have feelings you ain't dealt with. There was one time in the middle of the night when we got into a crazy fight. I should say morning because it was like 3 a.m. and I wanted to leave. He wouldn't. I'm sorry, and I wanted him to leave. He wouldn't, and he wouldn't let me leave. I was texting my best friend, Jamie, the whole time, and like in a movie, she hopped out of her bed without question and came to pick me up. He left when he realized I'd called her to come and came to pick me up. Sorry. <clears throat> but when she dropped me off the next morning, he somehow was right on the couch. He never hit me, but we fought for the first two years of living together. I started to feel so ashamed, as if I was turning into the monster that I promised myself I would never become. This wasn't me. Who was this? How did I end up on this end of it? How, I thought to myself. By the third year, I told myself I couldn't be with that person anymore. If that's what the relationship brought out of me, I didn't want it. I was tired of feeling like he was my responsibility and the fact that our relationship had become codependent in every way. So he is now sending this excerpt from her book to the blogs to prove that Kiki is also a violent person. Um, I don't know where I stopped on these things. So Candace, I think I did yours, but Mama Pete fully read the entire Jackson family and did. Thank you for the super chat. Again, um, thank you for another super chat. Why does he sound like, not Barack, during a briefing? I'm done. Um, the only thing he has like Barack is maybe the skin tone. <laughs> thank you, Candace. Um, Miss Esther 13 said, so while Kiki is trying to handle this legally with the courts, he decided to run to the court of public opinion. It ain't worked before and it's not working now. Thank you, Miss Esther. I appreciate you. <clears throat> D. Slay said, D. Slay said, the main victim here is Leo. He's going to use him to hurt Kiki. Now that I agree with. I showed you guys when he was posting, I'm going to see you soon, kind of like taunting Kiki the same day she got the restraining order. I didn't like that. Thanks, D. Slade. Wu Chow said, he's lucky it was scratches and not hot grit. <laughs> Wu Chow, um, your, your new avatar is taking me out. Thank you guys for the super chats. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so we're not done yet. So then um, Armand shows the actual police report from November 5th. This is what we saw the still shots from. Um, it says ADW domestic violence, no crime. Instead, it's a child custody dispute only. Um, they are suggesting mediation and family court for child custody agreement. So this was what the police said on the actual police report, which led Armand to believe that there was more to the story if the police did not actually consider what happened at Kiki's house that day, domestic violence. Now, what I will say is, even though that's what it says, we did see the judge grant custody. If you guys are new to the channel, I did a whole video. Um, it's the first video that you see when you go to my channel where I actually read, um, oh wait, let me see. 
um, where I actually read off the entire restraining order. Let me see live. I want to show you guys the video so you can check it out. Okay. So if you go to my channel, it'll say scary abuse exposed full restraining order. If you've not seen that video, check it out because it details multiple times of Kiki's admission that there has been domestic violence. Uh, and the judge saw that information and granted it to her. So let me show you guys right here. Scary abuse exposed full restraining order. Definitely check that video out. It, it's very telling. But like I said, I give you guys both sides and let you guys decide where you fall or, or where the cards fall and how you feel about the situation. But we're not done because then he shows the text messages between Sharon and he. Now, these text messages are old, right? So he's saying that this proves that Kiki is violent because he sent this text message to Sharon, Kiki's mom. And it says, um, you cannot leave her. She's drunk. And Darius responds, she hit me. The mother says, you cannot leave her. Darius said, never would. I thought she would. Her friends are with her. Then the mom says, she's under the influence. He responds, she's with them. I love y'all. Thank you for getting me closer to God. And we'll take this lesson and move forward with it. And then Sharon sends him his address. Please meet me at such and such. I want to speak with you. So... He's saying that this is further proof that Kiki and him, that Kiki was abusing him. I'm telling y'all, I'm just giving y'all both sides. This stuff was already sent out to the blogs. Definitely hit the like button. Thank you, Just Simply. With integrity. Let's see. Where are we on likes? We got like 1,300 people, but we only got 300 likes. Definitely hit that like button. It's a free way to support the channel. <clears throat> Uh, Candace, thanks again. Candace is really, uh, thank you, Candace. Uh, clearly, Darius doesn't have a legal team. Any lawyer would advise against putting his so called defense out there via social media, especially with DV. I don't know what he thought he would gain from this. Although, let me say this things have taken a shift. Before we even finish with Armand's receipts, I want to show you guys Kiki did book the Soul Train Awards. However, the people that are in the comments section are now split. And I'm telling you, this is how these things work. Thank you again, Candace, for that super chat. Um, these things work because now Darius has told his narrative and people who maybe already did not like Kiki or, you know, there are people who feel like you should not, under all circumstances, believe the victim, right? So Kiki announced that she'll be hosting the Soul Train Awards. Now, guys, this was not... The Soul Train Awards and who's going to host and perform, all that is done months before they make the announcements. All of these things are done months before they make the announcement. So for people to feel like Kiki went to the police in order to get clout or publicity for the Soul Train Awards, is it's, it's crazy, y'all. But let me let you guys see what they were saying. Uh, it says, nobody gets more opportunities than domestic abuse celebs following right in rihanna's footsteps i see that was the trash comment of the year but this is how people are feeling no shade but do kiki be pulling publicity stunts every time something crazy happens she got a new job so while i'm reading this i'm gonna go ahead and i'm dropping the link so for those of you guys who want to come up and share like your brief thought, whether you believe Kiki, whether you don't, whether you believe Darius, whether you don't, um, definitely, uh, you're more than welcome to come up. Let me see. We got another super chat. It says, Martinique Shaney, I was just about to say, Kiki, please learn to play grip ball. <laughs> if y'all don't know what they're talking about, you got to watch. Uh, I think that was what, Medea's family reunion, where she explained if somebody's messing with you or putting your hands on you. Go ahead and make them some hot grits and then introduce their face to those grits. Uh, it's Rochelle O said, oh, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate you. <clears throat> so, okay, let's get back to some of these. 
In the comment section, I noticed all the females taking up for Kiki, going off a still photo. No solid proof he beat her. Two sides to everything. I'm rolling with Brubra. Every time a woman claims to be a victim, they start getting them host jobs. Something with scandals and abuse and getting rewarded is weird. Why every time that something controversial, humiliating happens with celebrity, then following that, they get a big announcement for something else? Kiki was so unproblematic until the light-skinned man showed up in her life. <laughs> Goes to show these light-skinned men think they're God's gift and be forgetting their men and act like females. The devil works hard, but Kiki Palmer works harder. And no, Darius, you can't babysit that night, Buki. <laughs> okay, so you see, everybody is split. Um, it says, D. Johnson, you're using Chrome, and it has a bug that might cause an echo. So just FYI, there might be an echo. But we'll see. Um, we'll, still, we'll still pull you up. Uh, Lauren, you're up first. How do you feel about the situation? Hey, man. Hey. Um, so even like when the first when the story first broke just the timeline of everything did not make sense to me like it just there were just two it just felt like there were a lot of things that were hidden overall i feel like their relationship as a whole was extremely toxic um, I think that they did things to antagonize one another. And I'm not saying that to say that, you know, Darius was justified in getting physical with her. I am not saying that at all. I didn't even realize he was that big. I think he's like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so someone that huge putting their hands on anyone is actually insanity to me. Um, but their relationship as a whole seemed crazy. Um, they're looking at the all of the information the court documents what darius put out um how kiki's mother was talking her mouth was reckless you know i understand her being upset that someone's being you know verbally abusive to her daughter but it did not make sense for her to be on the phone kiki and darius are in the same room and you're saying that you're afraid of him and that he's so violent and you're being like super nasty and antagonistic on the phone, at least in my mind, I feel like what would make more sense would be you trying to defuse the situation, but she was just going on a homophobic, xenophobic rant. It was just a mess. Um, the whole relationship is a mess. I hope that they're able to find some healing for the child's sake because raising a baby in that confusion is crazy everyone needs to keep their hands to themselves and just be adults about the situation if you don't want to be with each other if you don't like each other go your separate ways um so where are you leaning so i'm leaning so what do you mean in terms of like where am i leaning like whose team am i on well i mean I, I don't really like to say teams in the situation because my first thought goes to the fact that there's like a baby who's not even a year old. Yeah. So that's, I don't want to say teams, but you know, people are either leaning towards believing Kiki's side of the story or his side, or, you know, do you fall somewhere in the middle? Okay. So right before I answer your question, I do see people, I do see people in the comments saying don't that worry, I'm victim blaming. No, no, I know. Worry, I know. Worry. I know. I know. Don't, don't worry about the comments. I know. <laughs> Everybody is allowed to have their opinions. That's why we do these open panels. And even For if your sure. opinion does not, you know, line up with the majority, you're still free to have your opinion. So no, without for sure. reading the comments, <laughs> where do you stand? <clears throat> so I honestly don't lean one way or another. Mm -hmm. I think that there are things that all parties um, ha have to be accountable for. I think that Darius getting physical, I'm not even just going to say hitting, because I, I think that wrestling, struggling over a phone, I think all of that, for me at least, that all falls in the same category of like hitting and whatnot. I think that he's wrong for that and that he should be punished for that. But in the same vein, I am not a fan of how, um, at least from like the recording, the way we see Kiki and, you know, um, her mom just like talking down on him, even if they are angry. This is just me. Maybe it's the 
peacemaker in me and I thank God I've never been in this situation. So maybe I just really don't understand those heightened emotions. <laughs> the way that they were talking, I think that that also is a form of violence. Um, and I, I just wasn't a fan of that. So I, 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 I don't know, I really can't pick a side. I think that of course him being violent is wrong, but I think that words can also be violent as well. Well, words can be abusive, but I would, yes. I would challenge, I would challenge you just on the sense of if I know that I'm recording you, mm -hmm. I can bait you into saying whatever. We don't know that, that, that true. Was, we don't know that that was like the beginning of the conversation. No, for we sure. Don't know and I that he's super calm. Yeah. We don't know what he said prior to, whether it was another situation where he had just been physical with. We don't know any of the circumstances. No, for sure. And we to that, that I will person, say, yeah, to who, that, I will say that. It, hold on. We just know that the person that disseminated the information now looks good because she's going on a tangent. Now, what she said about his mama being an immigrant and stuff like that and Usher being gay, <laughs> even though I could understand if she's trying to protect her daughter from a jealous person who's put his right. all I'm saying, yes, those she, mama was over the top. But do I think that my mom would do the same or worse? Probably. My mom would probably <laughs> have gotten physical with this person a lot sooner. No, but yeah. also, um, you can stay up, Lauren. Shanice, I see you in the background, but something that says your device is not connected. So you're gonna have to um you're gonna have to probably drop down and try again. Um, but I, I'll definitely pull you up. Uh Amy J, jump in. Hey, Mims. Hey. I literally was just talking about this with Gabor the other day. Mm -hmm. And nobody said, listen, the side I'm on is like maturity. People grow out of certain behaviors. And I don't think that like by his mom. Autumn, hold on one second. Autumn's mom, I dropped the link again. I don't know what happened to the other link, but it's been dropped. I'm sorry, Amy J. Continue. I said, I don't think by her mom saying all the stuff she's saying, because sometimes like when you have like that family dynamic like that, maybe the mom being in the presence through the phone corrects his behavior. And that's why she calls her mom. But I also kind of got the vibe that she's kind of like a dragon woman when she's upset the mother. And she kind of goes into these little rants or whatever. And it seems like she was chastising him. But at the same time, I felt like Kiki was a little, Kiki was a little composed as well. Like she was being... With, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like a parent in the room. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's she scared. If you're yeah. an abused person and you're with the abuser. And yeah, she still was a little quiet and she was saying her feelings, but it was almost as if she was like looking for her mom to guide the conversation. So, and then I think for him, it looked like to me, it seems like for him, that's when he straightens up when her mom comes. But at the same time, like I just got toxic. Okay, let's say that, like, they do do things to each other. And there are people trying to call them back to the situation. Do I think that he needs a little custody of his son? Pro at this point, probably no. But I do think at this point he is abusive to her. Vice versa. Her abuse is more so when she gets in front of family. His abuse is more private when they're with each other. So that's what I get from it. But when, you don't know that dynamic unless you lived in it. I know it because I lived in a situation like that where you are toxic for each other, but your family doesn't make it better. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, I always say this, like if, if unless it's like an abuse situation, it's always best not to let your family know the ins and outs of your relationship. That um, makes the, yeah, I'm sorry. That was the part that I, I felt like, you ever seen that movie, Not Easily Broken? Mm -mm. Okay, this, that's the movie with like more chestnut and, um, what's Is the it a Tyler name? Perry movie with bad wigs? No, it's um Bishop T.D. Jake's movie. So oh. basically, like, it was one point the girl moved her mom in the house and the mom was like ordering them around and she was way too invested in her daughter's relationship as well. That's what I got from that little thing and going back and forth. But also, I just feel like there is some toxicity there. And I think that he is violent towards Kiki and Kiki's violent towards him. His is more dangerous because he's bigger and stronger. So for that reason alone, I think they don't need to be together. Well, I definitely think they don't need to be together. Um, 
I definitely think they do not need to be together. It's a toxic situation. But yeah, you guys can stay up. Uh, damn, Pam, I forgot about this. And I was the one who read you guys the entire <laughs> restraining order. But yes, he did say he understands why people eat their own children or why animals in the wild eat their own that children. That part. Um, yeah, but the mom did say some crazy stuff too. I think they do that with what? each other. I mean, I, eating the children. I, yeah, like, I, I think the they do things for shock value <laughs> when they're having arguments. And I do think that's weird. that's the toxicity part of it all. I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mins. I know it's not my turn, but come on now. So it's okay to talk about eating your own child or any child for that matter. Are we really doing this? Mims, no. I'm going to be quiet. Please get my theme song, Reggie, for when you call my name. Thank you. Um, okay. Oh. Sorry. I'll be quiet. No, she wasn't telling you to be quiet. Nobody was telling we y'all we're all family here. We just have difference of opinion. No, I'm saying in. like unless you lived in a situation like that where people go to extremes, like did you hear his mom, her mom calling people immigrants and gay and all the rest? That was extreme and, and, and explanatory as well. So I would have did that and worse about mine. That's fine, but I'm saying I like, put hands about mine. I want to know how he said it to see if he was just doing that to get a rise out of her or, be, or did he really believe that men should eat their young? You know what I'm saying? So are we going to wait until he does something to the baby to find out exactly what he meant by that? I'm just asking no, a question. I'm not asking that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when you're in a situation of toxicity, people do things to get a rise out of their partners, to upset them, to make them feel like... You don't play with my baby. Can I jump in real quick? Yeah, go I ahead. just gotta add to that real quick. Wait, who wait, who is this? I'm sorry. D Johnson. D Johnson. Tip, I mean, we were gonna let Braylon go because he was next, but go ahead. Um, go, jump in. I, I just wanted to chime in really quick just to add that you I find like when we have sometimes all these conversations, a lot of us forget statistics and reality. Like Kiki Palmer is exempt from the statistics that show that multiple black women get assaulted by black men that women who are in domestic relationships usually are always trying to get out of a domestic situation. And usually they do have to fight. Usually the hardest time is when they're trying to leave is when it gets the most violent. And I feel like we always talk and have these conversations, but it's like, we always leave out facts. And it's always weird to me that we're gonna get, we wanna always give black men grace while eliminating the reality. Do you think that's what I'm doing, giving him grace, or am I, I looking at it as a toxic relationship? I don't think you're giving him grace, but I think when you're reading the comments and you're seeing a lot of tweets, a lot of the conversation is always giving Black men grace when we have statistics and reality that shows that that's the things that we're giving them the apology of, oh, maybe this happened or this happened. That's not true. It, we know it's not true. So mm -hmm. why do we always have to always have these comments when it's like reality is right in front of us? We know a black woman or we know a black sister who's been through something with a man. And then we just go like, but Kiki, it's a whole different situation. It can't be because, you know, she's a celebrity. No, these all things combined. You're still a black woman. You're still going to be affected by these systems. So why do we keep ignoring that these things are affecting them? Uh, okay. um, to your point, it says 40% of black women will experience DV across their lifetimes compared to 30% of white women. Black women are three times more likely to die as a result of intimate partner abuse than white women. So the statistics do show that black women are abused at a higher rate. And even black men are included in the statistic um, because they also experience higher rates of domestic violence as well. So and, and that's compared to other. Um, ethnic groups. So when you do these stats and you think about that black people are only what, I can't remember if it's 13 or 18 percent. 14 percent. We're, we're the small, we're like one of the smaller minority groups in the entire population of America, but we have some of the highest rates of domestic violence. So thank you for that point. Braylon, I'm going to get you to jump in. Yeah, sure. First of all, what the actual uck is going on here? Because I believe these two women would not have the same damn energy if they were in this situation, nor if they had somebody in, nor if they knew somebody that was in that situation. I don't give a damn who started the ish. This is a eight month old child. We all been children at one point in damn time. I, 
Like, shout out to Dan Pam for bringing that up because I'm just like, really? To get a rise out somebody, you would say that that's why they eat their young? And that the love of a child who didn't ask to be on this earth depends on if he loves the mo- I, You know what? This is why. So that doesn't sound he, intelligent. No, no, shut the hell up. You no, 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 I'm just asking. No. That doesn't mm-hmm. sound intelligent. Hold on, everybody. Everybody, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't want to mute y'all. Hold on. Hey, okay. ma'am. No, wait a minute, Natty. Natty, I love you, but hold on. Hold on. Y'all. This topic is a hot button topic. I love having these topics because everybody gets to have their point. But what we cannot do in any way, shape, or form is disrespect one another just because a viewpoint is different. So uh, maybe we'll do panels differently moving forward. But um, my apologies to anybody on the panel who was offended on on Braylon's behalf. And, and well, we'll, we'll leave it we'll, at that. Well, well, uh, let me say this to you, Mims, and I and I and I'll, and I'll land my plane with this. The reason why I said what I said exactly is because, as the brother said, that could have been anybody. And we have lost Sandra Bland. We lost um, we lost George Floyd. We've lost so many people by not listening to their stories. And I get that we're trying to make peace, but right has to be right, and wrong has to be wrong. Just because Kiki is famous doesn't mean that she's exempt from all of this. And I just like, okay, maybe Kiki might have done something. But regardless, who gets up at 11 a.m. and goes through the bedroom door? Would you allow that behavior? So, Mims, I am sorry to you because this is your platform. But somebody needs to just say what needed to be said. Because honestly, to tell you the truth, nobody should be going through that. And I said that because there are plenty of women in the chat and there are plenty of men that actually have had family members that have went through this. They've had to be support systems. And I'll say this last thing. There's this app called the Aspire News app. It's from Robin McGraw. And basically it looks like a news app, but it has resources for domestic violence. I just wanted to say that. Sorry to you, Mims. Love everybody in the chat. Just, I, I, I just, I couldn't take it. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, uh i don't even know who was I'm, uh i think it was candace candace you're up hi ma'ams can you hear me i can please bring the temperature hi. down please oh bring goodness it. i i had to i had to get on the panel because i spent my little fill-in money for my nails on the super stickers so here mm. we go thank you and if i can figure out a way to <laughs> gift you a membership i definitely will let me write your name down <clears throat> um, okay. Yeah, jump in. From 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 what I see, and if you ask what side I'm taking at this point, it would be neither. It's mm-hmm. clear that that was a volatile relationship. Uh-huh. There was abuse on both ends. Uh-huh. One may have been physical, but then another was mental. The uh-huh. way Mama Palmer spoke, and for him, whether he was baiting her or not, for a man to sit there and have to listen to that, that tells me in the way, when I said that he was calm, like Barack Obama during a briefing, I meant his demeanor. (laughs) Any other black man would have lost his mind hearing all that being said to him about him and about his family. So that tells Mm -hmm. me that he's accustomed to hearing that. And Mm -hmm. I don't think Kiki is so innocent in this too. I believe they both were physical toward each other. And if I'm not mistaken, they've this has been going on since what, 2021? And yes, oh, it can take a woman up to not between nine and 13 times of leaving a abusive relationship and breaking free. And that's if they leave with their lives. Mm-hmm. So, was he accustomed to hearing it, or was he just aware that he was recording I, it? I, I th- it, it, it could be mm-hmm. either one. It could be either one. But any human, any human black man listening to what was said to him would flip a brick. Now that flip they were recording brick. it, and they planned on or, using it later. Exactly. So, and if you if you listen, I've listened to that recording five times today, and mm-hmm. listening to how Kiki's handling it and how he's handling it, and then how the mother is talking, it seems like, I kind of feel like they both were trying to bait each other. 
Now, me personally, if I had somebody in my house that was so-called that type of physical violent toward me, I ain't calling my mama. I'm calling the police. Yes. I'm calling the police right, right then and there. I'm not going to pick up the phone and call my mom and, and get into this whole conversation. And yes, it sounds like she's been the peacekeeper between those two. But at some point, everyone has to realize Kiki is a grown Let me, Can I Can I interject she's really quickly? Um, yeah. So in terms of like the calling of the mom, when I read over the restraining order, like word for word, it sounded as like, I think Kiki has like a three story home. And mm. when he came into her house uninvited and that tussle happened, she was actually on the phone with her mom and her mom was downstairs. So I don't think it's so much of, I don't know all the ins and outs because we only got one sound bite oh, okay. that, that you provided. I, I, but, I, I think if, if, if I am downstairs and my daughter is upstairs with a volatile, vi physically violent man, she ain't calling me on no phone. She can call me, let me know he's there. No, I'm was, coming right she up. Was, she was on the phone with her mom when he came in. Yeah. I would come up. Face you know, face. Um, but hold on really, really quick, because we got some super chats. I also want to say this. Another thing that Armand said to, to give Darius's side of the story was they were not um, having that physical altercation because he had taken Kiki's phone. He's alleging that Kiki took his phone because Kiki um, found that out he was the recording. recording. Yeah. Yes. So that's, yeah. That's the rest of the narrative that Darius wants you guys to know. But we got to get to some of these super chats. Um, Mims, are you going to street deep dive on Dwayne Martin? I don't want them to sue me on in Will Smith's camp. I don't know. Hey. How much. Thanks for I don't know, right? I, I know, it. right? I don't mm -hmm. know how much I can do. Listen, if you don't know, hold don't on. Let Tasha K take all that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Guys, hold on. Uh, I did a video today where I kind of went through what the man who was making all these allegations about Will Smith had to say and his reasonings. If you haven't seen that, I will link that at the end of this video. Um, but I'm with Tisha. I don't trust none of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she's still here. <laughs> Hold on, more, to, hold on, hold on one second, because I got these super chats I have to get to. Um, <clears throat> so thank you for that, Brandon. Wait, I'm there's so many. Um, so the Lexi Lane, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate you, Brandon. Again, thank you for the super chat. Miss Sharon shook Darius to the core like his mom should have. Oh lord, I think she did want to hit him though, to be honest with you. Um, Lexi really? Lane, what did Kiki and her mom say? Just joining, her mom said a lot. She yeah, made an allegation about but Usher being bisexual. She later came on to say that she only made that allegation because he was actually very jealous of Usher and she was trying to protect the daughter. Usher is just quietly sitting at home waiting to perform. Thank you. Why am I here? And you could have did it. See, so I get I did it you never apologized. Lauren London, too. She got thrown in the mix. Um, <laughs> Quincy, but thank you for... Hold on, we got to get through the super chats. Uh, Quincy says, Kiki talk about the young hasn't been proven to be true. Are you talking about eating the young thing? Oh, the hearsay. They're calling the hearsay. I, I get what you're saying. We, in all fairness, this is what Kiki provided to the judge. The judge saw that uh, in addition to the footage and then made a determination that Kiki is granted a restraining order. So mm -hmm. technically it is hearsay because it's just Kiki saw, excuse me, and I don't think Kiki was recording him. So- you know, that might be uh, her word against his. Ali says, so is the speaker implying that black men have no self-control when they hear things that they don't like? Uh, I don't know if she was speaking. I think, he's, I think, I think I meant, I meant it. It was very, it, like, it, it was, it was very, it was very disrespectful. Mm. It was. I mean, listening to it, I cringed. But I do you think like, she oh was God. saying it? That's what I said. When I was listening to it, it sounded like a parent scolding their child. It I did. think it, it wasn't to me. Okay, everyone can say I'm being like naive. Natty, Natty you'll be next. Uh, everyone can say I'm naive, but I really felt like she's used to straightening him out. That's yeah, what sure. I felt like. Right. Do you but what is the that? difference? What What is the difference between straightening some, straightening someone out? And but I think that's abuse. the role she took in their relationship, where she's parenting them, and that's the part that I have to say that 
it's unhealthy for her to be in a relationship and your mom is parenting your partner and yeah, you. Yeah, she's too involved. The she's too involved. involved. She's, she's, she's too involved. And and why why is she referencing his the size of his genitalia? She, she like he, he, right. he's telling you, he's she telling your mama to too much. Him. She was upset. Like you 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 talking you talking too much. You talking too much to your mother about intimate things that should be between you, you and your partner. Have to say something. Well, you she may not even know. know. You know, but you could say that this is a limp dick. You, that's a limp dick mofo, and you don't actually know the size or that it's limp. You know what I mean? Yeah, Travis, do you when don't think you... that both Darius and Kiki both talked to her mom? Because look at the text messages of him saying she hit me. Da, da, da. It seems like they both share a lot with it, her mother. I know the mom chose not to incriminate her. She didn't say nothing. Yeah, they but you see, that he came to her. it seems like they do this thing when they talk. Yeah, she is not about to incriminate her daughter. She knew this mofo was crazy. Yeah, um, but you see what Kiki I'm saying? Still, uh, Kiki's mom is still Kiki's manager, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't. We're, we're not done with the super chats. I just wanted whoever was speaking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. I wanted whoever Ali was talking about to get a chance to respond. Um, body language and mediation. Log in. This is nasty. Uh, thanks for the super chat. I don't really know what that means. Are you asking for me to drop the link? I don't know. Put you can put it in the chat, and you don't have to send me a super chat. Um, just let me know what you're talking about. Body language. Um, Night Skinned said he was calm because he was recording. He wanted to play victim, and recording her was his insurance. Typical narcissistic and manipulative behavior. And I would agree. I'm not going to record somebody without the intent to disseminate it at the best time mm. to benefit myself. Um, thank you, Night Skinned. But I will say some of the stuff that the mama said, like the immigrant and stuff like that, that's probably like some kitchen table talk, but that's a rookie mistake for somebody who's been in the business. You're saying mm -hmm. this to somebody who doesn't like you, and now they've disseminated this, and now you got Lauren London, Usher, immigrants, uh, gay people up in arms. Yes. Um, so Esqu Esquire, her mom was not downstairs. The lawyer that drafted the document put a comma in a weird place, and it's causing confusion. Her sister was downstairs, and her mom was on the phone, not at the house. Thank you, Esquire. Um, are you, oh, I'm assuming that you are okay. in the legal field based on your name. Thank you for that. I so there were witnesses. That's the point. The sister was downstairs, came outside. Um, Kiki was trying to prevent the man from leaving with her phone he was revving up his car and she says he almost hit him he says that he threw the phone in the bushes he got out of the car at some point the police were called and then they took you know their notes where they said that mm -hmm. not domestic violence but we don't know the ins and outs of that as yet until december when they have to go to court <clears throat> mm. the entire situation is just a mess it's Idiot. just it's just it's just a mess. And I, I, part of me feels like when that happened, when she went to the Usher concert and that happened with him, who's it should have just been. Who's speaking? Candace. 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 Hold Candace. on Candace. one second, Candace, because Natty has been patiently waiting. I'll get okay. to the sure. super cats. Natty, jump in. Now, Natty is a knucker if you buck her. Natty likes to fight. Natty used to be a thug back in the day, but she oh, will yeah. let you know that uh, she can get right back there at any given time. Don't buck, because if Natty I knock, then we're going to have a problem. Go ahead, Natty. <laughs> Do I need to slide out of the chat? No, uh, no, okay. you're good. <laughs> we can't hear you, Natty. You muted yourself. We still can't hear you. Can you hear me now? We can. First of all, I'm not that bad. Ma'am, <laughs> don't don't believe me. <laughs> that video of Kiki saying, I, I shouldn't say nasty things to you. She said, after you say it to me, she said, I shouldn't put my hands on you, even though, and it cut off. So he playing what he wants y'all to hear. An abused victim will try to stay calm. So the abuser would not escalate anything. And like Braylon said, the closer they get to removing themselves from the situation, the more dangerous they can get. But Mama Sharon is me. If you mess with mine, see, she quick with the words. I'm quick with the hand. I told y'all. If a man 
It's only been a few months ago. I got in my car, went from Forest City, Arkansas to North Carolina. But I could not find him when I got there. Don't put your hand on mine. You can't raise her. I already have. Keep your hands to yourself. It's a pattern. And a, why, why does she stay so long? Because they love bomb you. They abuse you. They apologize. It's not going to happen again. You made me do that. If you, wasn't a, if you hadn't said this, I wouldn't have did that. If you hadn't award that dress, I would not have done that. If you had not looked at me like that, I wouldn't have done that. If you would have put a little more pepper on the chicken, I wouldn't have did that. Please tell them. Tell them. I used to work at a domestic abuse shelter. That girl has been abused. And they will try to fight back in the beginning. But they soon realize the more they try to fight back, the worse it gets. So they try to talk to him calm to de-escalate the situation. Baby, he got it. He, and and not, I, I didn't go by myself, trust and believe. Her brother's male cousins was trailing me. We, we went to Carolina. My daughter can get out there and nuck and buck with another female all day long because she can have her own. But nary one man better put his hand on nary one of mine. And if my son put his hand on a female, he gonna have to answer to his mama. Now I'm there with you on that one. I'm coming I'm up. Sure I'm coming at you. Up. You wasn't oh, raised please. like that. And I will yank him up because I birthed him. He he don't own her, but you belong to me. And for every lick you gave her, I'm going to pop you upside your head for one. That's the kind of mama I am. So he got a life from Miss Sharon. He just got a tongue lash. Because it had to been mine, he'd have got some <laughs> lash. I don't Nims, you, you, don't like Nattie, it. Nattie, you, Nattie you, didn't you, raise you, no punks. <laughs> Nims, you, 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 you was you was right about Miss Natty. Yes, Ooh. you were. I, All right. Natty don't I, play. I agree with you. I don't I play about my babies. And th th let me tell you something. People say what they feel. And if that he said he didn't say he would do it. He looked at that baby and say, I see now. If y'all think back, Kiki started not to even have that baby. She thought about it. She even said it. Right. When did she, she say that, Daddy? Oh, she said it. And uh like she contemplated interview? not giving birth, not going through with it. But then in her mind, they think this is saving grace. He'll want to be better for the baby. The baby will make him more loving. The baby will change him. People tell me, I wish why she have a baby by him. Because she got you, pregnant by him. Until you are in a situation, and I'm not talking about being in a toxic relationship. I'm talking about getting your tail whooped on almost a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And everybody in Hanley different. It wasn't about two or three years ago I lived in St. Louis for 23 years. Every week I was getting a call. So-and-so was trying to leave her husband. They having a funeral on such and such a day. So-and-so was trying to leave her boyfriend. They having a funeral on such and such a day. They, they are losing control. And they mind is, if I can't have, ain't nobody else going to have. So she did right to get a restraining order. Because yeah. now it's getting dangerous because she's making steps to distance herself. But that, that restraining order is, if y'all want to know the truth, it won't stop nothing. It doesn't. Yep, it's that's only true. a piece of paper. Neither will call in the cops a thousand times because then it's your word when against you their words. The and cops, if you don't have you proof. you do not have, I mean, a big brew, exactly. a laceration with blood running, they will not. Nine times out of ten, consider it a domestic. 
They got to have something they can see. I mean, and it's got to be blurring out at them. Exactly. Uh, and what they normally do, they'll tell a man, go somewhere and cool off. Mm -hmm. Come back when you cool off. That's the M.O. When they people wonder, where well, he wasn't arrested. And that little piece of paper he wrote, that was not an official police report. That's what they take down at the scene. When you go to actually file the papers into the police station, it is typed into a computer and printed off. You're that's absolutely right about that. With the case you number. Are. You're that absolutely is not right the about that. Police report. And that's it, that's exactly why I said it's clear he does not have a legal team. He does not have a legal team. But Mama Sharon, she my type of mama. I'll be on her team any day of the week about mine. And that's the only time I get gangsta. Trending, you're gonna be up. when it comes to my babies and my grandbabies. And I got to go to work, Mims. I'll I'll be listening in when I All get right, there. Thank, thank you, Natty. And don't be making no more trips to North Carolina if you don't have to. That was <laughs> that was that was God that <laughs> We don't need to be bailing Natty out of jail. <laughs> if he touched my baby, no, I'm, I'm going to touch I'm him. Just, I'm just, I know you Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Aunt Natty. Trending, you're <laughs> up. Um, but before you jump in, I just got a couple more super chats that I didn't get a chance to get to. Black women um, rent the building. The victim blaming is sick AF coming from black women. We in trouble, y'all. I've been, I've been hearing that. Um, please, drop sure? the link. please drop the link again. Okay, I'll definitely drop that link. Um, thank you for the super chat. Tag 1991 says anyone excusing Sharon needs therapy. I told you guys we were going to be split on this because some of the things that Sharon said were incendiary. You say things in the heat of the moment, but some of the things she being in the business, it's it's not a good look. But I, I honestly don't think it's going to affect Kiki's career. Um, TG says he was yelled at because he trespassed. Good point. Thank you for that the super part. chat. Um, Night Skin said Kiki's mom was right to be upset, but she was out of line. She sounded like a vulgar bigot. Kiki is a public figure, and her mom hurt her image. Um, I, you know, I don't disagree. There, she's gonna need to come out and really kind of like address some of the things she said, especially about like immigrants and stuff like that, because you really don't want that affecting Kiki's career. Although I don't think it will much. She's in the business. They probably have a crisis manager working on it now. You always have to think in certain situations. What if it were the other person? So I don't technically know Darius's race. I think uh, he's black and I don't know. Panamanian. Panamanian. So if his mom, who is, if she's Panamanian, oh, you can be black and be Panamanian. But anyway, we'll just say Latin. If her mom, if the mom was Latin and she had made really derogatory comments about black people, it, it would not sit well with us. So Sharon will probably need to walk some of those things back expeditiously in terms of TI. I said what the F I said, ho. I can I come on the panel? I'm nervous to have you on the panel, but you definitely can. <laughs> I can't get on the panel. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, Angel. Um, uh, the Dragon's Den. Light-skinned men don't mean the right skin. Oh, now the light-skinned people are going to be coming after me. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you for the super chat. Wu Child, didn't Darius allegedly salt his own sister? The mom did make an allegation that Darius did choke his sister. Um, let's get to you trending, and I'll, then I'll get to the rest of these super chats. Hey, man. Hey, panel. Hey. <laughs> like, what the hell I'm did trending. I do? <laughs> I was like, I should have just stayed in the chat. Oh, my gosh. Um, first of all, I will donate to Aunt Natty's bail if she ever needs it. <laughs> um. <laughs> I just want to say, okay, well, let's let, okay. I had to separate it. My brain, you know, okay. The, the, the inflammatory stuff that the mom said, the kitchen table talk part of it, is it offensive in certain, well, it's, it, it's, she said some things that were offensive, but I don't understand why that's the focus when this, when Kiki Palmer literally, I mean, for everyone that's usually watching you and some other content creators, they've seen the video stills. Um, I can only imagine what the actual video looks like. Oh, hold on one second, Trending. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. So shout out to my good, good friend, shy Town Naja Girl. Y'all, we just be breaking stories in the middle of these lives. Okay, real quick. We're going to get into this, and then I'm going to let you finish. 
apparently there's a little hypocrisy. It says Darius Jackson's mother has a long-standing order of protection against his father for domestic violence. So those things that she was saying about it being in your bloodline and you should, you know, you should know because of this and you should have this is <laughs> wow. Um, this it is says, it looks like things in Darius Jackson's family have been rocky for a while. Court documents obtained by the Cake Dish podcast confirm Jackson's mother, Yehina Hubbard Jackson, filed for a restraining order in 2020 against Ramel Jackson as part of their divorce filing. While the exact details surrounding the alleged abuse are unknown, the restraining order remains in place today, and Jackson's dad was forced to hand over his firearms. This is the latest piece of drama in the Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson saga. And doesn't it make sense that that's probably where them boys learned it from, people? This is too much. Yep. So you were yep. defending your son in public, saying that you would take a bullet for him, knowing damn well that you were also the victim of DV at the hands of their father. So they saw it growing up. And as in instead of, I don't know, going to counseling to make sure that they don't repeat that cycle, now you're defending them in the public. This is some deep shit. Now trending, if it wasn't bad <laughs> enough, please continue. <laughs> Thank oh, you, Chartel. Oh, gosh. Not surprised. Um, okay. Uh, I'll just, I don't have a lot. I'll just say that um, I heard the audio twice for myself. He does seem very highly manipulative. He was, to me, in my opinion, calm because he knew he would be recording from that point. So now just have the mom sound like she's the only irate one. Meanwhile, you're breaking someone's glasses, debilitating their vision, uh, taking their phone, almost hitting them with a car. Um, based, you know, obviously actually Rough sending housing your son. Some, what'd you say? What'd she say? Rough housing the son. Rough housing the actual son. Um, oh, rough housing the not rough housing the mom. Abusing the mom. Um, all these things. And basically, I'm ten toes down with Kiki. Kiki went to the authorities. This is not just I'm going to throw something out here. Um, even if she had not, not every victim goes to the authorities, but she did. It's on record. Um. I hope that she does get her permanent restraining order. I hope she gets sole custody. I don't think that someone being in a, like Miss, who was it? Miss Z, I think said verbal sparring is not the same as a abuse, abusive language. Like the mom was going off because her daughter was being assaulted allegedly at some point repetitively. And it just is not the same. If there was just this separate thing that happened about the very much many uh, offensive things that, that she said in another context, I understand why that, why that would dominate the conversation, but I don't understand why it dominates the conversation when you have someone that's literally a known abuser. And I don't think right now, I don't think it's about the somebody being toxic in a relationship. There's an abuse victim and there's an abuser um, um so. leave out can i say it. something real quick hold on we gotta let we gotta let um in uh trending finish her her thought mm. and i'll just end it with i i'm i'm here for kiki i hope nothing further happens uh because they're right restraining orders sometimes can just be paper and mm. we unfortunately we've seen these stories play out in very tragic ways a lot of times and that's that's where i'll end it well thank you well for real being quick can you. i hold on one second angel uh, Trendon actually has a channel. She is also like a deep diver like me. So uh, I really like Trending, just FYI. Yeah, jump in, Angel, mm -hmm. especially if you have like a retort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my thing is, it's like, how do we know he's a known abuser? Like, does he have anything in his background that says that the he can The video! <laughs> the video! What? A what? known abuser mean that he has a pattern of behavior. This is like an instance that it that this is a situation that's happened. Yeah, but like that's, the, that's 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 what I'm trying to say. Mm. Um, I I'll respect the question. I'll let the panel continue because I I just don't have anything I, to add. I don't I don't know. Um, I I already have somebody looking into a few things. Uh, but maybe we can add if there was any police report filed for the sister who was allegedly choked. If there's a police report out there for that, and that would establish. 
hold on one second, Amy. If there is a if there is a um, police report for that, that would be establish a pattern of abuse, Angel. Yeah, I did want to ask, um, ma'am, mm -hmm. like, how do we respond to the allegations? Is she wrote this in her book that she was abusive and 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 had a toxic relationship for three years with another boyfriend, where she was physically violent with him as well as he was violent with her. How do we, what do we retort from that? Well, I think that does establish in her own words that she has a pattern of abuse. Yeah, but does- I, Does that mean that, so, uh, that like, doesn't mean that she has it with him per se? Yeah, but I'm or, saying like, I, I wanna understand like, what do we say for that when people say, well, she's admitted to toxicity in her other relationships. Could it possibly be this person brought her back to the toxic behavior again? Anything is possible. Pattern. Either one goes of the pattern. There's a pattern there. I'm here's the thing. I'm not an apologist. I wanted to label the, the correct situation. I believe it was a toxic relationship. That's not me saying this person doesn't deserve to be um but held accountable. I feel like if you are grabbing and throwing and tossing somebody all over the floor over a phone, and if you are threatening to like eat your child. There needs to be accountability, but I also want it to be known that toxicity can come in all forms and we need to acknowledge that and not necessarily trace this whole story of she's just being a victim in that way. I feel like she needs to be held accountable too as well. I agree. Man, can I go? Um, who, wait, who was that? She's. Where, oh, hold on. You're right behind Autumn's mom. She was next. Oh, oh wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I skipped. It was trending. Then, then D Jensen and then Autumn's mom, Shanice, and then Angel. And, uh, I, you're, you have a really funny name. I can't remember it right now, but I promise you, I will drop the link for you. It's just that my backstage is full. You wouldn't be able to get in. Um, I said what the fuck I said, ho. Uh, you, I said what the fuck I, that's her name. Not me. That's not, I'm not calling her. Oh, oh, oh. That's her oh, name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I would like to say, oh, well, wait, no, wait, that's a minute, man. wait a minute. No, I'll drop. I'm just saying, I'll drop the. That's her name, y'all. I'm not going to go here. I'm, I ready. thought you was getting she somebody ready. in the comments. No, oh, gosh. No. no, that's her name, which I like. You, you will definitely get attention. Uh, but it was D Johnson. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> I think Arnold's mom was before me. No, I, I have the listing in the back. It was Braylon, Candace. Trending drop down. Oh, trending drop down. So if I said what I said, uh, ho, you can jump in. I dropped the link for you. But oh, I'm no, going to drop down Johnson too. And then Autumn's mom. Thank I'm sorry. I want to drop down too. Thank you for uh, allowing me up on the candle. No, you're always welcome, Amy. Oh, love, love you, Amy Chang. Love you, love you, love you. Love you. Bye, y'all. Bye, Amy. Bye. Not y'all think I'm calling people hoes on my panel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Uh, but I did drop Get, it. Getting it, getting it hot and fresh. Get it. Johnson, it's up to you unless you want to just move uh, on to autumn. I just got, I got five points just real quick. Um, I feel like we really have discussed and so many new things have been added in. Um, but the first one is the mom of Darius. Um, it was interesting that she still has the last name Jackson. You want that restraining order? So I'd like to know how she, you know, is computing that. Um, the second thing is evidence that Darius gives. Um, a lot of the stuff, um, the main thing we're talking about is the the conversation what he has with Sharon. But I think it's interesting that the evidence he showed with the pictures and even the text message is all showing from 2021. So I would really like to see if he has anything else other than from that time period. Because what Kiki is showing in the restraining order is evidence from 2002, 2002 even before that and then more seriously recently in the last couple um, months. So I'd like to see if he has any evidence that shows anything new that he has that's showing that Kiki is still behaving this way. The third point is um, the previous calls um, to the home. Um, in her uh, restraining order, she states that the police have come to that home multiple times and her neighbors have called. So I would like to see if we get any statements from the neighbors about what's going on currently. Um, the fourth thing is um, we're not adding in Sharonis for some reason, which is weird with this whole um, uh, uh, development with his baby mama and trying to assume that his daughter lives in LA when she actually technically lives in Texas. 
Um, and the final thing, which is the fifth thing, is um, why hasn't Darius ever filed any paperwork reports about Kiki? Even let's say if he let's say in in some weird reality that he is a great father, he's a good man, and even the story that was made up about you know him eating his kid um let's add in why are there no black fathers who think they're good fathers go in and do the paperwork if you want your child so bad go file the paperwork i feel like a mm. lot of black men do not invest enough if you want to be with your child go on, do the on, paperwork first Chris, i'm sorry hold on one second because somebody keeps trying to get in Lauren, Braylon, Candace, do you guys mind if I drop you down so we can rotate the panel? No, um, absolutely. Oh, no, no, yeah. absolutely. Nice talking and, with you guys. And, thank you guys Hi. for coming Hi. up. And and and, and 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 Mims, I hope that we're still cool. Um, I, no, 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 no. I just I I said what I said because it need to be said, but I just wanted to make sure that you know that I do love your panel. I do love you. I just like we've lost too much since 2020 man and somebody's got to be able to say what needs to be said so no, I you're, you you're more than that. welcome to, to come up uh i think that and, the temperature dropped down we all realize that we're all straight shooters and we all just we're you know we have a little bit of a heightened emotional attachment to this conversation a lot of us have been through abuse i've never been through abuse with a partner but i was abused as a child so I definitely understand the cycle of abuse. And um, I think a lot of us have, whether you were abused as an adult or a child. And, you know, I get it. Uh, we just have to be respectful to the other people. Oh, absolutely. The but yeah, you're good, Brandon. Right? You're more than welcome to come up. Um, Mims, thank what? you for having me up tonight. And thank you for letting me speak. No, and yeah. That's what the open panel. Everybody on the, everyone in the panel, nice conversation. I enjoyed speaking with y'all and good night. Have a good Thank one. Body, you, good language. Night. Yep. body okay. language. I dropped Bye. the link for you again because body language is just like I said what I said, ho. They are ready to speak their piece. But um, Autumn's mom, you're up. Or did I stop you, D. Johnson? I'm sorry. No, nope, that was all. All right. Thank you. Uh, Autumn's mom, jump in. Did you get my theme song ready, Mims? Oh, Lord. Not that you have a <laughs> whole uh, <laughs> requirement. <laughs> When you come on, okay. I am yeah. sick, sick, sick of your shit. And when I'm not sick, I'm tired. I am sick and tired. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I haven't seen so much bending and pretzels, and we are lost as a society, is all I'm getting from this. Can I ask a question? Because maybe I missed this. Did Darius say? He did not do this because all I'm hearing is all the stuff that he's saying that she did. But I didn't hear him say he did not do what she claimed that he did. Did I miss it? No, I don't. I don't no. think that he ever said. The only thing that he did was send whatever he considered his proof to Armand Wiggins. <clears throat> OK, so with that being said. I will even give. All you Darius Jackson supporters, this, that, and the third, that perhaps in the past, Kiki may have been involved in mutual combat with this man. Because like Auntie um, Natalie, Natty said, I think in the cycle of abuse, there's times when people will fight back to protect themselves and um, then the, the love bombing stops and all this other stuff. So I I can see how there has been times in the past that she may have put her hands on her on him to protect herself or just because she was fed up in the moment. Does that make it right? No. Let's move forward to today, though. Did I not hear that the man was in her house without permission? He was. Okay. Yeah. So if he was in her house without permission and then whatever happened, we have video of this tussle. Why are we trying to excuse and make this okay today? What we actually have the restraining order for and what she's seeking help for let's deal with what's happening today since whatever happened before he didn't go seek help she didn't go seek help he didn't come out and talk about it she didn't talk about it let's talk about what they came out and talked about 
and make me understand why all of a sudden everybody makes making it seem like this is far-fetched or this, that, and the third. We now know his mama had um, similar things happen to her, which would make sense why these boys are out here out of control. They got the playbook possibly allegedly from their daddy, and now they're trying to use social Hold media. Hold on. We're breaking more news. Apparently now there is a actual um, declaration. Hold on one second. We have the protective order now. We have the actual protective order from the mom. Oh Lord. And the full on restraining order. We're not gonna, we're not, oh, it's too much. Please continue. I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> Okay, so what you're breaking now is that it's facts. It's not alleged. It actually really happened, right? So now we know, okay, so now we know that this is something that they were privy to, these two grown men, not little boys, and now they both seem to have issues with the women, i.e. baby mamas in their lives and trying to manipulate the system to get their way. Is that uh, allegedly? Let's just say that that's what the, the streets are saying. I also heard Mims, Mims that um you was reading the comments that was underneath the Soul Train Awards or whatever. Yeah, I heard. I don't know how true this is that a, his brother and him were trying to do like um what they were doing a Real Housewives of Beverly Hills get the troll palms to try to change the narrative with the comments. Can they afford that? I don't know what their bank accounts look like, but um. Right now, it don't. I I don't know. I'm just telling you what I heard. So I don't know. But from just this panel alone, it's not far fetched that half the people think that. So just from knowing that, black women, we are in trouble. It's been said many many times, and if you didn't believe it before, we are the most hated species in the world. The most unprotected. No, and that's it, cap. It's cap. Yeah, I Cap don't agree with that. I, it's no. not for you to agree, sir. It's facts. That's facts. That is that's, facts. That's, a, that's an opinion. That's I, no, it's not an no, opinion. It's, not an it's, opinion. it's, it's that's fact. Actual fact. That's an it's actual fact. fact. You can look it up. Do your research. Do your yeah. research. Even Malcolm okay. X. No, it is my. It's, 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 just it's, because it's someone fact. said it doesn't make it true, my love. Okay, no, what I'm. It's true. It's very true. Do you even making that comment? This in multiple cities all throughout the country. Multiple but you don't case have studies have been done that have shown. That's, that's, that's I'm not arguing with her. I'm just saying that I don't agree with that. You don't have but to like agree with it, sir. I'm just telling you it's fact. Okay. Okay, but okay. it's not a fact. It is a fact. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to educate you so that you will know going forward. You can Google it. But you have to, but, but where's Autumn's your mom to say yes. that, my love? That's Autumn's mom? The proof yes. is by you making my the comment. Is, the proof is you making the comment that we even have to have to defend that comment is exactly and he's not thank you. this is what because he's doing. I'm saying he's that you guys are the I have lost of control. the process so thank just you. ignore I, I, I just don't, don't agree with that that's all okay that's so fine you don't have to agree with you all do you okay, agree that one and one equals two do you do you agree that one and one equals two well, do, yeah, of course. Well it's the same thing it's a fact it's not my um but I'm not you know what let me woo sign because yeah, what I'm not going to do, yeah, I'm going to lose time. Oh, <laughs> yes. mom, don't even worry about it. Don't I'm even not, worry about it. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to let it go because what I'm not going <laughs> to do is argue with somebody. Respect. Go ahead. Argue with somebody like what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to argue with somebody that just wants to argue to argue because what no, I'm, I'm stating not. is a fact. Okay, it's fine. You know, Let what me I'm go into. This is I'm based off of my opinion. I love and respect. But, but I'm not basing it off of opinion. We're basing it off of fact. Everybody's got to get muted. All right, everybody's got to get muted. Uh, okay. So I am now taking back control. I understand that this is a hot button topic, but I have now refreshed my drink. So I was hoping by the time I had refreshed it with this ghetto ass um, Simply Lemonade and Simply Limeade with this uh, Casa Amigos that y'all would have calmed down. I get I get it, um, but we're going to have to let Autumn's mom finish <laughs> what she's saying. <laughs> uh, and actually, I think, Angel, you, oh, you're right after Shawnee's, so you'll be able to retort. Um, okay. Autumn's mom. <laughs> now, 
That's why I'm leaving that alone. I'm moving forward. I don't have time for that. So, Mims, another thing, but <laughs> I'm putting you to work tonight. Do mm-hmm. you have the video when Kiki and Darius was out to dinner for her birthday? I mean, I can get it easily. What do you okay. want? Okay. If you could pull that up, mm-hmm. I saw another content creator break that down. And what I noticed this time, which it didn't hit me the first time, you can actually see his facial expressions change towards the end of that conversation to the point where he ends up giving her the death stare. You know, one of them stares where you look at somebody like, okay, I'm about to snap and go off. And it's clear as day. You could turn, you could see where he's giggling in the moment and then where all of a sudden the intimidation, the manipulation is daggering her with his eyes. See, the thing for me is I am grateful that I have never been in an abusive situation, okay? But however, I have never been the kind of person that has to touch the fire to know that it's hot. I've heard too many stories, I know too many people, and I've seen it too many times. When a person tells you who they are, you better believe them. And when you see patterns of behavior, and when you see signs and manipulation, I've seen this a thousand times. That's why I choose to believe it. If you want to choose not to believe it and Um, wait for more information to come out. I I don't blame you for that. But what I have a problem with is the fact of people making the excuses. He is out here. He hasn't even said none of what she said is true. I did not do it. He said none of that. But people are out here doing it for him. He don't have to. We're in danger, y'all. We're in danger. This whole society thing is lost. There's something going on we're in danger. So, but Mims, did you find the video? Um, it looks like it was on his channel and he has since taken it down. Um, but if anybody's interested, I think in one of my Kiki videos, I showed the actual video. I just don't remember which one because this news cycle. You can find it on Spiritual World, the, the Instagram. Spiritual World Instagram? Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a blog as well, like the Neighborhood Talk. They were just, they had brought up that same point. Okay. Yeah. See, but that it, I'm see a lot of people are picking up on it, and I saw it when you played it, Mims. But I didn't pick up on it. But now that I see it, I can't unsee it. And when you see the way that he looks at her, it's scary. Okay. So I don't understand why we got to come out here and educate grown folks. I can see if we was talking to a room of say ten and. 10 and 11 year olds and trying to teach them something but we all grown why is it that people just don't get it it's crazy to me it's called Um, short memory yeah or they don't want to see it they don't want to see it they don't want to see it because Um, i know the person that sometimes people are closer to the situation like sometimes you have a point of reference to it right so mm-hmm. you are just a person who's observing and mm-hmm. you've never been the victim of abuse or never known anybody to be abused. And no, I know people. I just haven't been in it. That's all you know, I said. Well, I mean, you asked why some people oh, okay. may not. I'm just giving you a different point of view. Maybe okay. people don't necessarily have a point of reference to it. So some people are very fact-driven, right? So we got Keith's mm-hmm. side. Now we're getting his side. It's only natural that people might defer especially you know you might feel you a lot of people kiki is a celebrity this is not like your neighbor who is being abused that you're seeing it so people naturally are inquisitive for me personally i didn't have to see the video to believe that this man had put his hands on her but that's just Mm -hmm. me i have i have my own situations with abuse so i'm probably more keen to see it but I like that people have difference of opinions because it allows you to really see where people's mindsets are. That's why I read the comment section from the shade room and the comment section was really, you know, it felt very manosphere heavy. Mm. My issue with all this, and this is me just being completely 100 with you guys. It's actually hurtful to me 
to have yeah. situations where we are now even more divided, right? Mm -hmm. We got the Krishan situation where people are going up for her hitting this man. And I'm like, well, if it were a man who had hurt, it would be a different scenario. Yeah. This man would be canceled. Then we have situations where Krishan is gay bashing her victim and nobody is really standing up because they like mm -hmm. Krishan. In this mm -hmm. situation, Kiki is America's sweetheart. I don't, I don't think, oh, Kiki Palmer, I just think abuse victim. So that's probably why I lean this way, but I don't tell people how they're supposed to feel. I just present to you guys all the facts so you can draw your own conclusions. The best thing that you can do is teach your own people the type of morals and values that you want them to have. I'm talking about children, family members, because that's really all you can do. You can't control the next person. You can't control yeah. the way the next person thinks. And my blog or channel or whatever is not to control a narrative. I just give you guys all the facts. Do I feel disappointed sometimes? Yeah, but that's that's why we do open panels so that we could actually just kind of talk about it. But um, I want to give the floor to Shanice, then Angel, then I said what the fuck I, I said. Know. I'm going to stop saying yeah. your name because I said what the fuck I said is going to get me demonetized. I'm sorry, <laughs> baby, because that's, that's how I am. I Lynn, can I just ask I a question? Who's that? Oh, this is Lauren. Can I just ask a question? Okay. Yeah, so um, I... I guess it's also just like a question comment just in response to Autumn's mom. Um, and this is just for my own personal clarification. Hold on, they said I'm biased. Hold on one second. Oh. <laughs> um, put in the chat what I'm biased about because I definitely have given his whole side. I gave his whole narrative. Just because I don't necessarily um, believe all of it doesn't mean that I am not. I have given all the facts. A biased person wouldn't even do that, just FYI. Please continue. Sorry, Lauren. Yes. Um, so I guess this is kind of a question comment in response to, um, I believe that was Autumn's mom that was just speaking. Um, so I guess like my, or, and this is, I'm asking this for like my own personal clarification, just so I am better, under, just so I can better understand like where other people are coming from. I feel like some of the commentary that I've heard on the panel and like also in the chat. I know Mims not supposed to be looking in the chat. Um, yeah, you um, in response to in response to like myself and some other people on the um, panel um, have been this like, oh, you know, you guys are um, victim blaming or like, I guess like what we're seeing is being received as Darius apologists or abuse apologists. And I am not understanding like why it's being interpreted that way, how I am receiving my commentary and like other people on the panel who have had similar um, opinions to mine is that, you know, they're saying that or we're saying that Darius's behavior is bad. I don't see anyone saying that, oh, no, you know, it's not that bad or we should gloss over it. I, I think what I'm saying and what I'm assuming they're saying as well is that Darius's behavior is bad, but then we're also looking at the overall relationship and saying that this is not the most healthy um, situation. So I guess like my question on Arms Mom, um, Mims panel is where, like, where are you guys, or at least like- That's what I'm saying, you, thank you. Yeah, like where are you guys, you know, seeing this like, abuse apologists or victim blaming in what I'm saying or in what other people have been saying. Like, if you could just like clarify I, that, cause I, I'm, that's where my, I'm losing the plot there. I'm losing, I'm losing the plot okay. there. I'll answer, I am, I'll answer for myself, for me. I'm not here to judge their whole relationship because when somebody is in a whole, it's in an abusive relationship, there's going to be ebbs and flows in the relationship. There's going to be times when things look good. There's going to be times when something might happen. Then the love bombing starts and this, that, that. So I wasn't in their relationship. I don't know how much she felt she was able to take, why she stayed. I'm not here to judge her or him. For that, I'm simply talking about this incident, this police report, and what mm -hmm. has come out because of that. Because this incident report came with documentation, i.e. pictures and mm -hmm. other things that are in the police report that became public knowledge. What happened in the 
in the past, supposedly, that's all speculation. And that's people like, well, maybe this happened, or maybe he got mad for this, or maybe, or maybe, and why didn't she... I'm not here to judge all of that because every relationship is different. So that's why it seems like people are bending over backwards to go backwards instead of staying focused on what we know now for sh for at least what's in front of us. I can't even say for sure because it hasn't gone to court, but from what we see. Okay, hold on. Thank you. Thank you, Autumn. Thank you, Lauren. Um, Monica Monica says reactive abuse is a manipulation tactic used to flip the narrative abuse where the abuser accuses their victim of being abusive. Thank Thanks. you for that. I haven't heard of that, but I'll definitely do a little bit more research into that. Juan Solo says, always, oh, we're not doing that. Thank you for the super chat, uh, Juan. Tag 1991. Kiki actually said, it's my bad to put my hands on you, even though you did whatever you did that made she me feel She did that say way. that. Yep, she did. Abuse can go both ways. Now, I'm I'm never going to say that um, if a woman who's in a relationship with a man hits that man, that that's not also abuse. That's also that's abuse. That's Domestic that's abuse that's goes both ways. So thank you, um, Tag 1991. Um, Kimmy Nicole, thank you. I think you're on the panel. Is that you, Kimmy? Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for being a member. Nia Lecky says the Jasmine branches found proof that Darius' dad was abusing their mom, like father, like son. Not only did he hurt Kiki, but he held his own blood. Sorry, man. We did go over that. Thank you, Nia. Um, it does show a pattern of abuse in the family. But just because your father's abusive does not mean that you have to follow in their footsteps. But it is, I think there's um, studies that show that if you see it at an early age in the home, you might be more likely or prone to be abusive as an adult. Uh, Peaches, thank you for joining the, damn, Peaches, 16 months? Thank you. For those of you guys who aren't members, just know those people who are members are going to be, um, a, I'm doing my big celebration this Friday, so it's like a $400 toothbrush for members, and I think the Christian Louboutin Tumblr is going to be for members as well, I think. We did hit 10,000 subscribers on Instagram, so that Versace Tumblr, or whatever these things are called, I don't even know at this point. I'm a little <laughs> The Versace Tumblr will go to anybody, because that's a thank you for us hitting 10K on Instagram. We got a couple more Super Chats, and then Shanice has been patiently waiting. I thank you so much. Um, Hold on. Oh, Congratulations on the road to 80K. Yeah, if you're here and you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. This is the place to be. We're a mess, but we're a mess who loves each other. Uh, I said what the fuck I said, ho. Uh, I'm already up here. here. She's <laughs> up here. We made sure that she got the fuck up here. And I don't even curse this much, but y'all then got me. I'm on my second drink. Uh, K Journey says, dogs will show its teeth until you've proven you're not a threat. Her mom wasn't there. She engaged the abuser to distract him, showing her teeth. That's a different spin on it. Thank you. Um, body language, I have dropped the link multiple times for you, but every time I drop the link, people click it. Uh, rotate the panel. Um, you know, we're we're doing that. Thank you for the super chat. TG said, let's all treat those who trespass kindly. Shake my head. Oh, you're being you're being funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh yeah, you trespass on my property. I got something for you. Uh, me too. Uh two. Too blessed for you. Woo child Mims, go get us a drink. I yeah, I had to. Thank you. And I will read um oh Kimmy dropped because she got triggered. I'm sorry. Kimmy has been through a very notable situation where uh, I hope you're okay with me sharing this, but Kimmy lost uh, somebody extremely close to her to domestic violence. This is a situation where the person actually did um in the life of somebody very close to Kimmy. So she's very close to the situation. I'll read the rest a little later. Shanice, jump in. <clears throat> hey, Mims. Um, I just, like you said, I've been patiently waiting. I, I think I want to respond before I get into what I want to get into. I did want to respond to what Lauren had um, said about like why um, some of us feel as though there's um, kind of like victim blaming or taking the side of Kiki, um, just to reiterate what Autumn's mom said, like like Autumn's mom, like for me, I'm not, I think there's too much nitpicking going on about who said what, who did what at this point in time. I think that none of that matters. And I think um, the guy's name was Braylon, who was in um, 
I think he was he dropped out earlier, but um, I think he made a really good point. Is everyone's trying to dissect each and every piece that keep that keeps coming out in the news cycle and the blogs. But there's an eight month old baby Thank involved you. in in this situation, and that eight month old baby is still that 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 he he still has to go the rest of his life with his mom, with his dad, and this situation. That eight-month-old baby is going to be a grown man one day. It's going to be a teenager one day. And they're going to look at this. He's going to look at this. He's going to be able to go back and see all of this. And I think that that's the part that everyone is overlooking constantly. And it's annoying when people try to dissect the the nitpicking. It, 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 it's really annoying. So I just wanted to get that out. But um, I also wanted to bring a different perspective of this, um, not to scare anybody off the panel, but I am a criminal justice major. Well, I was um, graduated master's and all that stuff, but I also work in federal law enforcement. I won't say what agency. Um, and th the whole thing about black women being victims more than any, I think that like a lot of other statistics um, surrounding the African-American community, I think the biggest one that pertains to us, because I'm a black woman, um, I think is that we're victimized or um, pe not penalized, um, like locked up, incarcerated. A lot of stuff that happens to our population of people is. Um, hold, on, re hold on, really, really quickly. Um, somebody dropped down. So. I'm dropping the link one more time. Please only click it if you are, I think, body language. Because body language is going to curse me out. If body <laughs> language is not. <laughs> please only click it if your body language. The link has been dropped. Please, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Please continue. Sharing. No, no, no. It's fine. Um, a lot of things that happen to us, whether it's incarceration, victimization, um. I don't want to use murder, but I mean, I'm sorry, I said it. Unaliving. Um, when that type of stuff happens to us, it's not that it's where it happens to us most of the time it's in conflict with the amount of with with our population size if that makes sense i, I probably sounded very confusing but there's not that many of us in this country and the fact that there are alarming rates of victimization against black women black, disproportionate the, the, this that's what it is the disproportionate yeah. that's what i'm trying to say thank you um, and I think that that's the part that we were trying to bring up earlier. Um, like I said, being in federal law enforcement, I see this stuff every day. It's black women. We're the victim. We, we are victimized at an alarming rate, disproportionate to our population um, size. Like it, 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 it's happened. I'm a year older black than Kiki. Man, right? I'm sorry. By black men, right? Um, by black men, by Hispanic men, I think that it's just the, like I said, it's the disproportionate amount of victimization that happens because there's not that many of us. We're a minority within a minority, so we have to take that into consideration as well. But I think that um, the the part of trying to figure out, even with that, trying to dissect who's more of a victim, none of that makes sense. I think that. We all need to look at this. Um, I, I know that Kiki certainly didn't sign up for this. She did not sign up to be the poster child for, you know, the victim. I'm sorry, domestic violence victims for Black women. She didn't sign up for that. She didn't ask for this. Nobody would. But I think that if we just look at the situation, just the situation, not their relationship. We don't know Kiki from a can of paint. We see her on TV. We've, we've loved her since Akila and the B. But we don't know that lady. We don't know this man. But we know that there's a child involved. We know okay. that we, we saw the video footage or not the footage, but the pictures showing him putting his hands on her. And I don't know what type of household y'all come from. I have three brothers. I'm the only girl. And my mom has always said the same thing. Aunt Natty said, something happened to your sister, you get on them. And if you do something to a woman, she, my mom is going to do something to you. So it, it, it's, I don't care if Kiki... You know, karate chop him in the back of the neck. She she would be wrong for that. But you a man, take that on the chin. And the fact that he's coming online trying to do whatever he's doing to me is sucker stuff. And anybody that is aligning themselves with him in any way, shape, or form, you might gotta look at yourself and just think about it. Just think about it like this, because I like to respect everyone's opinion. But just look, think about it like this. 
that's somebody's mom, that's somebody's daughter, that's somebody's sister, that's somebody's auntie, that's somebody's cousin, that's somebody's role model. That is a person and that happened to her. And none of that other stuff matters. And the last point that I want to make is about Miss Sharon. Y'all got Miss Sharon you messed limp, up. You limp dick motherfucker. That's what she said. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Miss Sharon ain't tell no lies. I think that nitpicking what her mama said, listen, Usher caught a stray, but if it was my mom, and I have a two-year-old daughter, and I actually, um, her my, my husband's going to be mad at me because he had to put her to sleep, but I had to hop on here. Listen, play with mine, and I'm coming for Usher, Michael Jackson, Beyonce, um, whoever about mine. I the, the fact is, like, her mom didn't know that that was going to be publicized. Her mom didn't know that that was going to be put out there. And who gives a damn? Usher's okay. He's rich. He's happy. He's, you know. How does Usher keep time? getting into this? Shanice, how Usher, what Usher did? So, no, what Usher did? Right. You could have done that. See, you know, I I did did it. About that. There's a baby. <laughs> I'm playing. That's, but no, but, but I'm, 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 I'm playing too, but I'm just saying like, we got to keep circling back to the part that it's a baby. Nobody cares about Usher. Nobody care about Lauren London. There's a baby involved. Nobody cares about that. Th th what he's doing is actually working. And he's trying to use that same tactic that Tory Lanez used when it pertained to Megan Thee Stallion. You try to sway public opinion. And, and it may on its surface seem to be working, but you see where he is, right? Okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Shanice. <laughs> Oh, we got a few more super chats and then we're going to get into Angel. Angel, I want to say this because <clears throat> I heard what you're saying and Angel might be a person who's more literal. So y'all don't just go in on Angel. But I, I, I do know one statistic because I did a video on it and it's specifically about black women. They did like a study and basically black women are the most... Um, um, like what is it called when they steal you and, and ship you across to another country what's the term guys traffic traffic yeah. black women are the most trafficked of any person not minority mm -hmm. not men women and what it is is black women are not believed when they say they're missing that's why california is trying to enact a new law called the brown like um it's called the instead the of law. it's the ebony the ebony law thank you guys the casamigos is no joke so there is something to be said about this study that showed a little white girl and a little black girl standing in the same market square and person after person, they were the same age, person after person went up to the little white girl and said, are you lost? Where are your parents? A little black girl who was the same age was in that same square and nobody stopped for her. And so the researchers came up with black women are more than any other race, nationality, whatever, they think that they're older than they are. And they are not as, people are not as interested in protecting them. There's not that desire or will. And these two little girls were the same age. So DM me and I will actually send you that video. It was called- Yeah, I saw that. I, that brought me to tears. Racism explained in 30 seconds. So I think when people have a visceral reaction to comments like that, it's because they might know things like that. Or, you know, there has to be some evidence that there is an issue if the state of California is trying to change the law to make sure that news stations report missing Black girls at the same rate that they report, you know, missing Caucasian girls. You know what I mean, Angel? What about that Hispanic women? Yeah, I understand. So yeah, I mean, Angel, Angel is welcome to his opinion. Uh, you know, please don't. Let's not just you know go in on each and other. It's, just, it's, a, it's, a line it's actually your turn, Angel. Jump in. No, well, because I'm getting ready to go. But my, my the point is, it's Autumn's mom and the other young lady. I love you guys. I love black women. I support black women, and in my life, I protect black women. And and I think for me, when I hear stuff like that. When it comes to me personally, I, I give my life before I let anything go down. Like what, what Santana did for Miami, 100%, that's me. And so when I hear that, I, I kind of 
I, I'm triggered in a bit because I feel like on my end, I, I, I do what I can to protect Black women. And what I'm saying in this whole situation is, is that we can't get lost in we can't get lost in the celebrity of the situation just because it's Kiki Palmer. We can't forget the facts of it. And, and we just, and that's an eight month old baby that's involved. That's all I'm saying. And I kind of think that, you know, where's Kiki's father at? Where is her brother at? Because she has a brother, you know, where are these people at to, to protect Kiki? You know, it can't just be all on Sharon. And so, that, that's all I'm saying. I, I, I mean no harm and I come with love and everything that I do. So I apologize if I offend. Um, I, I still agree that that's a statement of opinion and instead of a statement of fact. But I don't, I mean, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody thought that you meant to be offensive. I well, I, I will oh, well. to the fact that I thought he was being offensive and I didn't, I wasn't listening to what he was saying. So I will apologize and I accept your apology as well. Because I didn't know that you were saying because you you protect the black women. See that's and and I understand that's your opinion and I respect your opinion. However, even though you protect us, a lot of us don't get protected by a majority of the black men that's out there. So hold on, let me just add this. Not just black men. We don't even get protected by women either. So it's not the man woman thing. Facts. We're not protected on a whole. Facts. 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 <laughs> Catherine, it's actually your turn. You were right after um you were right after um Angel. Oh, okay. Well, see, I didn't change my name from I said what the F I said since you didn't like my name that much. But um, <laughs> no, I love your name. I'm just saying you're gonna get me demonetized because now I'm gonna be saying that. that. That's not my intent. <laughs> Um, I've been through um, an abusive situation, so this whole situation is triggering to me because of the simple fact what I went through. Like, and a lot of people sitting up here saying, "Well, what did she do?" Or the fact that she laid hands on him. Yes, yeah, she may have laid hands on him, but when she said, and I heard her say this. I apologize for laying my hands on you, even though you did what you did to me. It sounded like it was self-defense. And I've been in that situation where my ex laid hands, feet, wrench, hammer, pots and pans, knives on me. So I understood why she said what she said. And as far as sharing goes, you know, like I said, sorry, Usher, you had to catch stray. Sorry, Lauren Lundy, you had to catch stray. But if it, I would love a mama like Sharon. Or a parent like Sharon, because when I went through my abusive situation, my dad and my stepmom asked me, well, what did you do to cause the situation for him to hit you in the head with a hammer? Or what did you do for him to be abusive? So when I say black women aren't protected, that's exactly what I mean. That's exactly, even within the home, uh, we have never been protected. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Well, thank you. Uh, I said what the fuck I said. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Man, can I add something to the end of what she just said? Really, Unfortunately, really a lot of women. Timeless Joy T and Mia, and we're gonna have to, you know, um, speed it up a little bit. So, really quickly, Autumn's mom. Yeah, a lot. Of, a lot of us don't even know what protection looks like, sounds like, feels like. So then, when you see it, then you label it abusive. This, that, and third. To me. I don't agree with everything that she said, but I, you probably ain't going to agree with everything I say if you hear me in the heat of a moment. What I heard was a mother. I heard a mother's love. If you don't know nothing about it, I feel sorry for you. Ken, I heard somebody who just don't like her her daughter's boyfriend. That's what I heard. Angel, can I ask you a question? Do you have any kids? Uh, no, ma'am. I have a, a godson who has a foster son, so that's about as close as what I got. And, and the fact that you said that you protect women, you can't put yourself in his shoes. Uh, you're right. And see, when you have kids, it's a whole different thing. Yes, but where is Chiki's dad at? Where is her brother, her brother at? Well, like she said, he's in the military. Was it her, Miss? Well, maybe it wasn't her, but 
some people are scared to tell certain people in their family, but I'm sure they know now and they probably had the conversation of don't get involved because you can get arrested. You see, you have to think about repercussions because um, even when I've had an uh, uh, issue with someone coming into our family, a sibling was dating and they were in our house, they was being disrespectful to my parents by saying, who am I to be saying such and such and such? Now, I was ready to wax that. This is my parents' house. You don't question anything we do in our house. These are my parents. This is my family. And how we work has nothing to do with you. But at the same time, because she was staying there for a couple of days, her mother called the police from another city and the police came. And the police said we couldn't kick her out, but she did have to leave that um because we told them that she was supposed to be leaving but she did have to leave so my mother said to protect me she had me leave my house so there's a lot of things that come into play when you're dealing with different situation especially abuse uh, women, black women are not protected. We're not protected when we have kids. We're not protected. And when I say when we have kids, when we're in labor, okay, we supposedly don't feel pain. I don't know if y'all recently saw the issue with the cops in Charlotte beating up on that black woman who only weighed 125 pounds or something like that. But I saw she was very, very skinny. They had five big men on her and one white big man punching her. And the excuse was she hit a police officer. So because she hit that police officer, she's supposed to get punched 10 times. Then you have this guy Darius hitting Kiki. And I'm hearing and I'm seeing a lot of men say things of the nature of, well, we don't know what she did. I don't care what she did. He shouldn't be beaten on her. Let's, let's start right there. We saw how he reacted to her going out with Usher. Not going out, I'm sorry. Usher singing to her. And her singing to, to him. Basically, their co-worker. She's working off of him. He's working off of her. He couldn't yeah. handle that situation. He went out there, tried to degrade her, and all the men jumped in. What I can't take is how these men don't have a problem with their mouth and how they get down on black women. We've seen in the past years men pulling the girl over the, over the counter and trying to punch her. Was it McDonald's or something? Luckily, that girl had hands. Has all those men walked back and forth behind her? Not one of them stopped that man from hitting her. Wow. We're sitting here watching these things over and over, but yet people say we're protected. You can't get mad at a mother. I'm a mama. And I'm with the other woman who was well, up here anybody, saying, I don't think anybody said overprotected. No, what I'm saying is we're not protected, period. We're not. We're not. I've definitely seen a trend more recently where more people are becoming aware of that. And so black women have, are now kind of like bonding together. Now, Autumn's mom might jump on me because she's seen this comment section. <laughs> Or she's seen the comments, but I do think that, you know, we're in a renaissance now where people are seeing, we're becoming more aware, we're becoming more informed. And with that, changes can be made in a positive direction. Absolutely. 
like the conversation you're having now with everybody with their difference of opinions on this panel. It's very, very, very important. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, Danielle is a lot. Um, hold on, because we do have to get through. Do you mind, Lauren D. Johnson? Because uh yeah. so wanted to come up. I'm gonna go ahead. No, and drop drop down. Down. Thanks, drop for the opportunity. Down. Thanks, panel. Thanks, chat. Thanks, man. No, thank you, thank you for off. coming up. You guys have a beautiful Before day. I drop the link, it's only for Gabor because after Mia, Mia, and Gabor, y'all. This Casamigos has got me more than right. Y'all then wore me out. <laughs> this panel was a lot. It was a lot of fires to put out. I felt like I was at BravoCon again. You got um, me over here losing my voice, man. <laughs> I felt like I was at BravoCon. Uh, um, okay, uh, Gabor, I dropped the link for you again. I think the next person was Joy. I'm sorry, who was that? Oh, Mims, I just want to say, Scotty will tell you about me. I'll be up here and I'll let folks have it. I don't give a dang. <laughs> um, I said what the fuck I said. I like you. Okay, thank you. You're, you're all right with me. My name used to be was Where's Tamika's Money when I was asking you that question when you and Scotty did that live. Where, oh. That was my money. Where's Tamika's Money? And I still want to know where her money at. Y'all don't even want to know when I was sitting right <laughs> next to her mama. That was like, I was so nervous. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay. So, Joy, thank you so much for being patient. You are up. Thank you so much for having me on the panel, Memes. Um, I just wanted to say that it's really disgusting and very sad that whether it be our plight, whether it be our hurt, whether it be our pain, whether it even be our joy, as a race, Black people are the only people that are exploited. The fact that we're even having to have a conversation and we're trivializing what did it happen, did it not happen, well, what did she do to trigger him, Where's the sensitivity? Where is the care? Where is the understanding that we're talking about a human life, a black woman? Let, let, let me be very specific. This black woman, I, I, in all of the races, I have only seen us do it to us. And that applies to both black men on black women, to black women on black women. We have got to stop this. To be very clear, Kiki Palmer and her mama didn't come out and make a statement, okay? Y'all went digging into her personal business. And then from there, it was a catalyst of, oh, she's a liar. Oh, this is all for clout. Oh, why did she do X, Y, and Z? You went digging into her business. And truth be told, the people that have the most to say, if we were to dig in your past and your current situation, you are just as in a, a toxic relationship or situation as it appears Kiki Palmer was in. It's disgusting and it is so sad. And listen, I'm 27 and what I'm seeing is a multi-generation problem of black women saying we don't feel heard, we don't feel seen. And it's like the goalpost keeps getting moved. Right now we're talking about Kiki Palmer and we're talking about Darius Jackson, but I've seen in the comments on this channel as well as on the shade room, well, what about when black women hit black men? Or what about when black women lie? We're not talking about that. You're not gonna all lives matter this situation. We're talking about you getting involved in this real life situation for Kiki Palmer and then inserting your opinion and your ignorances and your biases and trying to say, well, she's not the perfect victim. Who's the perfect victim? We have literally crumbs of what happened, but what we do see is abuse. What we do see is gaslighting. What we do see is narcissism. And still the goalpost is continued to be moved. So we got to stop this. We can't expect the outside world and everyone else to come together and solve our problems if right now we can't even come together and at a baseline say, you know what? From what we do see, it is sad that this young black woman who her whole career has tried to maintain a certain image that the moment she got in a relationship to try to become a mother and protect her family unit, all of it didn't blown up. And now, ooh, she's a liar. But she was America's sweetheart not too long ago. We was all turning up for Kiki Palmer. It's just ridiculous, and it has to stop. It has to stop. Uh, Joy then came in and dropped the mic. Joy was a quiet, a quiet storm. 
<laughs> I love that. And I ain't mad at it. Do it again, girl. Joy was in quiet form. Um, really quickly though, it's for sale. Mim's doing the Lord's work. I don't know about that. Um, but y'all got, but y'all got a BF. What does BFFR stand for? Be fucking for real. I knew that. Uh, was that Catherine who said that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was Catherine. Um, we got Drids. I'm sorry, D R I D R twelve twelve. Crazy that crazy this is. They will be back together. I bet money on it. I hope not. I really hope not. I hope that the police have already said they have to go to family therapy. Hopefully they can co-parent and and not be together because that's a toxic situation. Kimmy, I had to drop. I got triggered. I'm sorry. And if you look back in this chat, people put their hearts in the chat for you because they know the experience that you have with your own situation of losing somebody permanently through domestic violence. Um, Monica, he broke into her house, choked her, put his hands on her, and y'all are both siding this situation. Make it make sense. It's one of those things, Monica. I mean, I know where I stand with it, but when you present everything, there are going to be people who do not, you know, side with Kiki. And unfortunately, there are people who do not side with the victim in situations. If it was a situation where both parties were initiating putting hands on each other, then um, that is domestic violence in both ways. I just did not know that. I personally heard Kiki's rendition of the story, saw that she was the one that had called the police. And to me, that's all I need to see. But I definitely let you guys hear all the facts. Ali says, why did the audio drop right when she admitted to hitting him? To me, she was speaking sarcastically when she said that. No, I'm she telling- wasn't. Because I heard the whole audio on Scotty's channel when he did the replay. And she said, I'm sorry for putting my hands on you after you you did what you made, uh, after you did what you did and made me feel like I should. So it it didn't drop after she said that because Armand Wiggins got that whole audio. (laughs) No, I played it. I played it earlier directly from Armand's chat. Um, On this actual live, I just did not expect to be two drinks in. uh, And only. Did you find the video of their dinner yet, Mims? No, I gave up on it. I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> oh, Stuart Norville says, my situation, I was told by my mom, I probably did something to provoke him. That's actually extremely sad and tricky yeah. for a lot of people. We needed to attend church more so God could heal our relationship. Mm-hmm. The church of batting, beating the hell out of them. That's the church I was going to go to. I'm but sorry, too, not- adorable, that you went through that and that you didn't have, like, a strong support system there to kind of guide you through something that was i'm sure extremely horrible and traumatizing for you um you guys put your hearts in the trap for too adorable evelyn lopez thank you for joining the membership they all of the lives are not always like this but i don't shy away from topics of domestic violence because i really want to see what you guys have to say and hear your personal stories q says oh thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sounds no. crazy everybody keep your hands to yourself which is true, yes. But however, if somebody put their hands on me, I was taught to fight back. I'm sorry, that's how I am. I tried to fight back with my ex. Unfortunately, I lost. I said what the fuck I said. I believe that you probably do uh, fight. You, <laughs> I believe you have hands. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm his mom. I I'll do my own research on the side. Thank you. I appreciate that. You don't have to apologize to me. I just would appreciate it if you just, like I said, Google it and try to just get some more information. I think education is key. And when you know better, you can do better. And that I will do. Oh, we're all a, we're definitely all a family here. Um, we are. And we're all still like learning and growing. And um, Angel, you're always more than welcome up. Uh, I'm Thank dropping this link. One more time, but it's only for Gabor. I will not, I, I can't pull anybody else up. Literally, I only had half a sandwich today, y'all. The news cycle's been moving too fast. Lex says, thank you, Jordan. Um, I'm not sure who Jordan is. Maybe Jordan was in the comment section. Was Jordan up here? But thank you. No, for- I think he was trying to say Joy. Oh, Joy. Oh, okay. Yeah, Joy did come up and drop the link. She was looking all quiet and nice in her red and her fro and her glasses. <laughs> we thought Joy was going to come up here and be just, you know, Sweet and nice and joyful. Give us a word of prayer. No, she came in with the real. I was ready. <laughs> so okay, the um, yes, the link is only for Gabor. He's up here. Great. Uh, 
T, it is your turn. T, I almost want to give you like full screen because T has waited. <laughs> He's in check, not dropping the link enough. So, uh, yes, T, it's, it's on you. And it's so crazy because I am so sick right now. But I was so triggered. I was like, oh, my God, I have to sit up. I have to call in. So the thing that bothered me so much, and I appreciate you for, like, even putting this panel on. Joy, I rock with you. I loved everything that you said. My my biggest thing is for people wanting to find an excuse and a reason. We are literally, like, really falling in line to why they did this. They're dropping, like, little sprinkles and, like, little nuggets for this moment. And when we get on, like, her mother, we are not allowed to tell people how they are to be in fear. A fact is not a threat. So for us to say, um, well, I wouldn't have said that. So if I'm walking down a dark alley and I see a big, well, we're going to say a black man because society views black men as a threat, right? And we can say in our community, they can be a threat to us. If I start cursing him out, it doesn't mean I'm not scared. If a white woman sees the same black man and she cowers in fear, it also doesn't mean she's not scared. So for us to sit back it and also doesn't mean that mind, the black man is a threat. Let's start no, there with a big black. No, man. and I said by society. Yeah. By, you know, like if you look at I'm saying like if you know back in the day they used to like lock their doors. I, that's why I said by society. Back in the day, I just had yeah. that the other day at the mall. I was in <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so, so you know, that's why I wanted to say that, you know what I'm saying? So that's, I just wanted to do that as a broader picture. But yeah. we can't say how to handle our fear. So when we listen to her mother, which I am a mother of a daughter, she went to a basketball game and I went to pick her up at the bus and my baby wasn't there. And I'm literally, my heart dro like dropped. And a little girl came up and she's like, oh, Hayden is over here. So you can't tell me how I'm going to handle my fear for my child. And I feel like he is using manipulation tactics in order to see one side or the other. And I feel like that's the game all is on. He's using her child, even in the in the tape. He's like, where my baby at though? That to me is 100% a manipulation tactic of what's to come for 18 plus years of Kiki's life. And I think that it's really unfortunate. It's really sad. And for her mother to say what she did, that is that is a clear fact. You are in this woman's home. You are disturbing this woman's peace where we should feel safe. I am in my space where I pay my rent every single month. When I close and lock my doors, I don't expect someone that I don't want in here to be in my in my space. And how I fear Kiki was soft and she was mild. And, you know, she was almost in a cowering um, position with her voice. And I don't know her natural tone when she's not being Kiki and animated. But we don't know how she felt to have this man in her personal space. We can only call what she said. I moved around the couch to put separation between us. He went around to close the separation. That is intimidation on its greatest form. And then now he's playing in our face. She didn't go to social media. She handled it as she should. She went to the court, but he's using social media to one side the other. And it's just unfortunate because there was a woman up here, which is what made me want to call in, coughing and everything, because she was like, well, he's a man, as if because he's a man, he gets some, some type of great respect. But this is a man who is triggering this woman, because you don't have to prove that you can beat us up. Nine times out of 10, you got it. So what is the proof that you can handle us? Except he wants to. So for him to go through all of this, I just feel like it's not okay. And for the women to excuse it, I do feel like that's a cultural thing in the black community where we do excuse a lot of black men's behavior. And even when you see like the discipline of young black girls and the embarrassment that these girls go through on social media, you rarely see the black women doing that to their precious boys. And so I think that it's like in, embedded in us to come to back and defend these men that don't need defending. But I waited and I appreciate everybody because I was hot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everything you said made me drop this link. So, <laughs> you so know, ma'am, you know what she said that was also true? Somebody sounds like you're chewing. Do you know that, yes, when he posted the picture of, of the son talking about, son, I'll see you soon. First of all, the son's not going to be able to see it. But not just that, but that's a direct, um, 
um what is that it's um factor well yeah because the, the um the restraining order is for Kiki as well as the son okay it's a direct violation of the restraining order because he's not supposed to contact Kiki nor the son or do anything via in person through third parties or on social media he don't care that's gaslighting 101 in your face i'm done absolutely the next person was mia mia hey y'all can y'all hear me we can hear you hey what's up hey man this is my first time up here hey y'all hey welcome y'all um, no, don't y'all don't <laughs> We're, Welcome. We're I just, You've been drinking. I just wanted to. Who me? Yeah, you had a drink. Yeah, earlier I did. I've been waiting so long. I done sobered up. Anyway, um, <laughs> about this whole Kiki thing, I just feel bad that she's going through this. Like, you know, Kiki is our little sister. She got knees. That's our America's sweetheart. Like, I just wanted so much better for her like she deserves like a good rich man savannah okay like a man with money who was going to treat her like a queen and all of that and i just feel bad that she's going through this like and i know like when the usher thing went there i just feel like because i've been in a situation like this and i feel like a few days before that happened, like they probably got into an argument. She probably was like, I'm done with you. And then you know how you feel like when you're done with a nigga, I'm about to turn up with my friends. I'm about to have fun because this nigga been driving me crazy. And mm. that's what happened. But I just feel bad that I just feel bad that she's going through this, like for real. I, don't I honestly feel bad too, because it feels like now you have the weight of the world. She was already kind of like a superstar, but now yeah. you have this and it's all. A lot of times victims feel embarrassed even though they should not feel embarrassed. And we're not going to get into it. Is. It's a very embarrassing like situation. It can be. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel bad that she's going through this. Isn't this the same thing that yeah, Rudy yeah, from the Cosby like show went through? Like... Wait, did, what's the name abuse her? Oh, I don't know. Lisa Rudy's ex-husband abused Rudy? Um, I know he did it verbally. Um, I don't know if he hit her. But I know verbally he did. Oh, I didn't know that. But she's in a beautiful relationship now. I yeah. love her, her her husband. Yeah, um, Kiki was supposed to have her good rich man, a, a newscaster, doctor, high profile attorney. She was supposed to have her been on her level that's not as famous as her, but he's still getting money. So he's not jealous of her. He's not intimidated by her. I feel like Darius, he a weird ass nigga. Hmm. Mika jumped in. I think he low key jealous of her. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Um, let me start by saying, before I say my comments, that I have myself seen physical abuse um, with two of my sisters firsthand. And um, so I'm not victim shaming Kiki. But I don't even think Kiki... When did she start dating that guy? It's been was like it twenty twenty or twenty twenty one? I think it was twenty one. Right. She said they met up at like a a rap party for Insecure in twenty twenty one. So she hasn't even been with him that long. If they got together in twenty twenty one, one of those still shots was from February of twenty twenty two. So he was already, I say allegedly, allegedly putting his hands on her within a month's time. So she didn't learn her lesson because in her book, in her book, no, let me finish, please. In her mm. book that she wrote, it said that she was already in an abusive relationship uh, physically where her and her boyfriend were both putting their hands on each other. So you I'm trying to figure it's him? out. I'm sorry, said it again. You oh. thinking it's him? No, no. This is book a book she wrote years ago where oh. she said, um, because she wrote a book and she admitted that she was in a three-year relationship with a guy that was living together and they were both putting their hands on each other. She wrote this in a book. 
Yeah. We, okay. So what's your we, point? She has a bad picker. She picks we, the wrong man. No, my, that no, my, right point, man. Oh my, my point. My my question is, I'm no man shouldn't a man shouldn't put his hands on a woman, but her getting pregnant by him. Mm. After he already abused her up, as a woman, I feel like what accountability does she have in getting pregnant after the fact of already being abused? Can I say what? something to that? Wait, my question, I like, what did she learn? Wait, hold on, hold on, one second. We have to let Mika get her question, her point out. We have breathe, to people, breathe. Mika, I have I put her excerpt from the book because. For you guys who might just be joining, Darius sent this excerpt to Armand Wiggins as his defense for Kiki being physically abusive. So just to kind of like set the tone for what Mika might I, be. I'm not questioning. I'm not using I'm not I didn't bring up that part of the book to uh, as the same reason as no, no, no. as him. I'm just giving no. people who, the audience because they may not know what you're referencing. Yeah. So I'm now showing was, them exactly what you're talking about. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out why she didn't learn from that that's what i'm saying why she didn't learn from that situation <clears throat> it's really difficult for people to who are not necessarily in the situation mika to understand because even with me personally i can give great advice to people but sometimes i need my own therapist to come in and say well maybe you're not making the right decisions for you in this situation, we now know that Kiki was in a physically abusive relationship and she, by her own admission, was also the abuser. It's sometimes very difficult when you're in the thick of a situation to remove yourself, especially when feelings get involved. And just because you might be rich or have access to Kiki doesn't mean that she doesn't have some of the same issues that we as normal people have. You know what I mean? And another thing is... I, I don't hear a lot of people preaching leave the first time. Mm. I hear a lot I hear a lot of people preaching, well, it takes at least like like uh uh the book the research books say it takes at least seven times for a woman to leave. I'm not saying I, I don't believe in that because there is psychology in that. However, I personally preach leave the first time. I am not going to tell a woman hey sister it's going to take at least seven times for you to leave this man because then i think she's going to really think in her head oh wait he got about three more times for me to finally leave no preach <laughs> leave the first time i let think me, people I say you. that uh, 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 let me say this let me say this and so you have been in that situation i have i have i have i have, I have. and i understand every woman every person is not it's the different. same you I know that. that because you don't understand this. If you don't understand the situation that that person is in, leaving the first time is sometimes not an option. For me, it was never an option because I didn't have nowhere to go. When I was in my situation, that man beat me with a hammer. He beat me with a wrench. He dragged me by my hair from room to room. I didn't have nowhere to go. So for me to stand up and say, leave the first time, where the hell was I supposed to go? That was the only shelter and everything that I had. But I feel like sometimes, but if somebody is, I get what you're saying. I think that sometimes we just need to listen to each other and everything is not an argument. But if somebody was beating you with a hammer, that's still not a place to go. Anywhere would have been better than that. Than, it's easier said than done. I didn't want to say that. Yeah. Exactly. I, I'm it's sorry. very easier said than done. That's exactly. I mean, there's the psychological component to there, the fear, the trauma. You know, it, it's very easy to say, well, you should have left. Oh, it's your fault. You need to pick better, as if these people aren't manipulative. Should, wait, if should, we not, not be, should we so not be preaching to women to is, Go ahead. We well, should I'm, be preaching to women. That's why I said she better. deserved a good man. I, I said what? good for a reason, he, a gentleman, a great man. Up. That's what she deserves. But, and in the same token, I, I know that it. I'm not trying to trivialize your pain, ma'am. But I'm saying to say, did you learn your lesson? If someone was to come around and tell you, well, you should have picked better. That's trivializing and disrespecting the pain you went through. Maybe you Thank don't know you. what you don't know. Maybe you didn't know but it she, was abuse. Maybe she literally wrote it out of nowhere. She does I'm know it, though. She wrote it in the book and she acknowledged it. it. Absolutely. I understand all that. Like, I do feel bad that she's going through this. I'm not blaming her. I feel bad that she's going through this. 
for sure. No. I, I, I totally disagree. Like, let's, let's put it, let's, let's, hold on, hold on, hold on really quickly. I'm sorry. Let's put it into like a positive perspective. The fact that Kiki Palmer is going through this, she's beautiful, she's rich. I do think that there are people who are experiencing this who are not celebrities who will now see, you know, I don't want to stay more than I should. I can't fix or repair this situation. I can't, I'm not at fault for somebody putting their hands on me. That's the positive. The fact that we straight shooters and whomever else is having this conversation might hopefully put it into some people's heads who are currently in an abusive relationship that they don't have to stay. But what we can't do is tell a victim that, hey, you should have done because in this situation, we're but why not? Why can't you okay, say can that? I tell you why because not, ma'am? Because wait, let me add this real quick. People are also leaving out the fact that when a woman decides, or a man, when a person decides to leave, they that say that that's the most dangerous part. time right. ever. Okay, and they don't suggest that you just pack up and leave. They actually tell you that you should. But that's come why you leave the first time because eventually it the first has to be the last time, man. How many people never got a uh, history, and the first time was also the last time, and they got off. I, Everything is easier said than done. I understand when it's not true. why it's hard to leave. I do understand that. I, I like. I I get it, but I just I just feel bad for Kiki. Like I love Kiki Palmer. I feel bad that she's going through this for real. Like you don't deserve none of this. You know what I'm saying? That's the point of view I'm coming from. I'm not sure. You're you're gonna, hold on, really quickly, because we, again, I've lost control. And nobody, I, nobody I, deserves I, it. I do not right. do two and a half hour lives, but now we're here because this is one of those subjects where people are so invested and people have their own personal stories. I'm not gonna just end the live abruptly. But Q, are you the content guy, or are you another Q? The only Q you know. I know um, you. <laughs> <laughs> the Q, the content guy. I'm in my, I'm in my phone. I'm on my phone. Okay. I just want to jump in first. I, <laughs> I just want to first say all of this is just beyond like crazy that we are having this conversation about this because he should not have put his hands on her. That's the first thing. Um, but listening to this conversation and listening to different people's opinions, and we all are entitled to our own opinions. But I just find it interesting that somebody up, somebody was up here and was like, oh, I don't care if Kiki hit on the back of the head, just take it on the chin because that's a man. It's not okay for a man to abuse a woman and it's not okay for a woman to abuse a man. Just because you're a man doesn't mean that you don't have feelings and don't have emotions. So if, and I'm not saying she was before everybody started going crazy, but if she was in the house and putting her hands on him and then he hit her back, we're automatically going to get mad at him. And then I hear a lot of, well, Kiki should have been with a, a, a rich man. You don't think a rich man can't beat your ass, too? Like, Facts. you got billionaires. You got billionaires. I said out there a good rich man. I said a gentleman. I said a good man. I said well, a good man. Good, I'm, what I'm good saying negates general, everything else. Money, well, and what I'm saying is money, money, doesn't, money doesn't mean anything, what I'm getting to. And I, didn't, I wasn't talking about you. I was saying in general, because I've heard this conversation multiple times. That oh well if she would have got what he he broke he he ain't he ain't a nobody so that he jealous and he this and that so if she would have got with a rich man it would have been okay for her for her for him to knock her upside her head no at the end of the day you need to keep no your I'm just yourself. saying she she, she, our, she she deserves I'm to not be talking with a good man I'm not talking about you though you're jumping into I'm not talking about you I'm talking in general and I'm saying that at the end of the day okay. you need to be in a, you need to be in my a bad relationship you. don't where, don't come for me don't do me. Do I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, getting into arguments and all that kind of stuff, that's natural. That's hu that's human nature. Everybody gets into arguments, but for it to lead and for you to put your hand on somebody, that is unnecessary. He should not have been putting his hands on her. And at the end of the day, we don't, we're not in their relationships. We don't know what was going on. We're hearing her side of the story. Now we're hearing his side of the story. But it seems like a lot of well, he's a man, so he shouldn't. He 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 needs to just take it on the chin and just deal with it. And then we throw a poor Usher in the in the mix. Like, what Usher got to do with the conversation? It's like yeah. we we. I don't. Right, like, listen, we, we, I don't think that lady. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta let him finish, cause y'all. I'm I'm trying to get back to my Sloshki sandwich. I'm not yeah, but I just I just wanted to say what his point. I gotta point. finish. I gotta finish. I gotta finish my point though. Like I'm not. Like I gotta. I said. I don't, well, every stopped, time I get up here, I don't, I don't cut nobody off. You stopped the so, Usher. Yeah, so I'm like Usher getting thrown into this because she's trying to like everything is messy right now. The mama coming out saying stuff, his mama saying stuff. 
her, the families are getting involved. All of this is getting messy because, and I'm going to say this, he hit her before she got pregnant. Mm. She chose to stay with him and continue to have a baby with him, knowing what the cycle already was. She I was, said and, that. And Kiki, and Kiki is not a person that we know of that needs to stay with him for a financial reason. She's the breadwinner. So since she's the breadwinner, she has more than enough outlets to have left. And on top of that, the relationship was only what it was only what a year in, two years in be before she Not got even. pregnant and had a baby by Not him. Even. And so we so we sitting up here, like for me, for me personally, that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm I'm not in her shoes though, but it doesn't make any sense to me. He put his hands on you and then you chose to have a baby with him. That is that's where I'm at with it. And now everybody has their opinion. Everybody getting dragged in. Like I said, poor Usher just wanted to dance with the girl. Now he gay. Like, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff is beyond crazy to me. But it's okay for a woman to hit a man because he a man. He got to take it on the chin and just move on and deal with it. I don't think she meant that he had to deal with it. I think what she was saying is if she karate chopped him in the neck, it probably didn't hurt him as bad, but he had the power to get up and leave. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. He could have, she could have got up and left. But the whole fact of the matter is, is he was in her house without permission, so she could have fucked him up for all I felt. Thank you. He was in her house. You come in my house, I'm going after talk, you with a knife. But we not talk, But see, I'm not talking about that. You, you but, that's, but, but that's what the I, but that's, that's what she said. Hit her. No, no, that's but, when but he hit her. I, I'm he, talking about what the girl. I'm not talking about what he did. I got up here and said I hear a lot of take it on the chin because you're a man. So it's okay. My thing is keep your hands to yourself. We live in a day and age where don't nobody got respect for nobody. You put your hands on me, I'm liable to fuck you up, man or female. So and I that's agree with that. that. No woman should hit a man unless you're ready to take that blow. But if the man exactly. is putting his hands on her, or he don't even have to put his hand on her, you walk in my house, you mine. We gonna fight. You ain't gotta yell at me, okay? Wait, that's the question. Why is it assume that she she chose to have this baby? I love you, but we gotta girl, get these girl, we gotta nope. on. hold on. <laughs> we gotta get to these super chats. Uh Shanice says, Mims got my two-year-old up at your two-year-old watches me. Oh no. <laughs> I hope Shanice that your two-year-old is not listening to this conversation. Uh, because we have gone left. You don't on know enough to. Oh, no. I'm not talking. I'm sorry. I wasn't on talking to you. I was looking reading this up. On a Wednesday night, listening to Miss Sharon go the fuck off. And I just cursed again. Oh, my monetization is gone. If I get a call from the daycare tomorrow, I'm blaming Mims. Well, don't blame me because daycares are expensive and they're not going to uh, refund your money. Uh, thank you, Shanice. Uh, and Andrin Crawford says they didn't believe her about Trey Songs. Now she's being questioned about Darius. When does it stop? That's what I'm talking to me, by the oh, way. I'm talking about Kiki and that her hiding in the closet and that Trey Songs video. I believed her. And now that we see Trey Songs has a lot more cases piling up. Ali says on the day of the argument, he posted a meme of Homelander from the boys to ask, where is his son? Now that's scary. I did not know he did that. I watched the boys. If you watch the show, you know what he's implying. It's a veiled threat. Um, so if you don't watch the show, Homelander is out batshit crazy. And he literally kidnapped the son from the mother. So if that did happen, Ali, go ahead and send me that on my Instagram. Make it make sense now. And whenever we talk about this topic again, I'll post it. It was a post and delete. Did somebody catch it, though? Yeah, they have screenshots. Send it to me on my Instagram. Girlfriends unfiltered. The cycle of abuse is something we will never fully understand. And we should give grace to those women who struggle with finding the confidence to do so. I want to point really out good. that it's not just women. There are men who are physically abused too, and there is a there's a bigger stigma with those men because it's like, how are you getting abused? So I just want to point that out. I completely agree with what you said, girlfriends unfiltered, but there are men who go through it as well. Domestic violence, that pendulum does swing both ways. Again, thank you for the super chat. Girlfriends unfiltered said, although we might preach that, the woman still has to believe she's enough to leave. And that is very important. Nobody can 
like physically remove a man or woman who's in an abusive situation. They have to come to terms with what they're going through and make the decision to leave on their own. Lex, and when, oh. um, there's two messages. We should preach for people. Now, this one's important because I saw it when they posted this. There's two messages. We should preach for people not to accept abuse, which I believe somebody on the panel was saying. But also, people are sometimes not financially able to leave, therefore they are stuck. Sometimes they're also scared. Um, the reason that we can't do our big MIMS gives back thing at the battered women's shelter is because they're, um, they need to remain anonymous because a lot of people do leave and then their abuser tries to follow them, tries to get the children back, and sometimes unalive them. So that's important as well. Thank you for that, Lex. But we should preach to people that they are important enough to leave and that they should not be going through this. Is it my go? You're not till I finish these super chats. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, because he he sent the chat. He said something in the chat. Give him a second. That's why he. Asked. Oh no, I had left like, real quick. That's why I came. I'm sorry. My bad. He's probably <laughs> cooking his uh. He's probably cooking his uh meal prep. <laughs> D Johnson. Uh, we all have an abusive relationship with the United States of America, KKKA, and we still live here. The things aren't black and white. That's fair. There's a gray area in a lot of this. Um. Valdez Bernan says, "Amazing show. This topic should be discussed. Thank you, Mims. Thank you, guys. Because I would not be doing a two and a half hour show." Um, Ali says, "Kiki stayed with him because she loved him. Love can be one of the worst drugs in the world. Some people don't want to be without it. That's true. Exactly. Her mom, her family. A lot of people are saying, where were the brothers? Where were whomever? Nobody can make you leave. And then in situations where the person doesn't want to leave, if you get physical with their abuser, they might turn on you." Um, I saw two lesbians fighting one day and I jumped in. I was super young and I'm like breaking it up. And when the police were finally called, it was like they went home together. You just what never. Kind of lesbian, what kind of lesbians? Lesbian lesbians are like soft lesbians. Um, I mean, I don't know. There's some lesbians, that, there's some lesbians that'll beat you up. No, I wish you would. <laughs> don't let um i'm not that nice you're not gonna nobody's gonna put their hands on me but i definitely interjected into a fight because i saw somebody just getting pummeled and then um even once the police were called that the victim chose to go home with her girlfriend and that's all you can do uh too adorable says he baby trapped her so she wouldn't leave him she also hey, let man. he love bombed her she let him girlfriends on <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> girlfriends unfiltered. I think that since we see how successful Kiki has been through the years, it is hard for the public to believe that she was experiencing a breakdown and really struggled with her self confidence to gain the strength to leave. Kiki has been very upfront. She's had issues with the way that she looks. Um, she's had men in the industry who she felt were not good to her. She, you know, I don't know what Darius gave her that other men could not, but that's you know. Hopefully she moves on from him. Thank you, Girlfriends Unfiltered. Again, Girlfriends Unfiltered. You are totally right. Men are also victimized, and we should also give grace and not pass judgment. Um, TG, thanks for being a member for too much. She said, money nor status determines people's self-esteem and self-worth. Stop judging based on your hypothetical response to being in an abusive relationship. TG has some words for us. TG's getting us together. Um, only Danielle. I only sent this to prevent more <laughs> And on that, you were the go board, jump in. What's good? You tell us. Nothing. I just did you hear the video from Miss Chevron? We we listened to it, yeah. You did? See, mm -hmm. I didn't know that she was coming on because I had one to talk. My head was hurting earlier today. But I got a lot of things to say about the video. I, okay, well, really, y'all already know what's been going on. I have to agree with Mika 1991. And the thing is, I believed. I think that sometimes when you don't have a Mika is opinion, flipping her hair right now. Mm. We can't see. <laughs> I think that sometimes when you don't, I, I believe Kiki when she said the stuff about Trey songs and I believed Kiki with this stuff with Darius. I did from the beginning, but I just feel like what, what Mika said, you know what I'm saying? How come I feel like, when people ask certain questions, 
I don't necessarily have to have been an abuse victim to know that how people should move. I've seen it a lot of times and I've seen it up close. You get what I'm saying? So just because that's something that I just would never deal with. But what I'm saying is how come you're made the bad guy for saying, well, you should have left the first time. You, if, if somebody did something to you, you should have left the first time and not to wait till a baby got there. Because now, because you chose to stay in this relationship, because he was already doing this before, it seems like everybody else is involved in it. You got Miss Sharon over here. If she put the bullet in him, like she said, she going to jail. The two youngest siblings going to be without a mama. Then the baby going to be without a daddy. Then we got Usher being gay in here because y'all just totally forgot about the bath house the man who said that he was in the bath house with him with quantasia you know we don't forgot all about that it's everybody is being pulled into some mess that kiki if she would have left it, it would have never been this mess and you know it takes two to to have a baby it takes two now you got this man on the phone with her and what they said was correct she he is going to be with her it, this is going to be what her next 18 years are looking like. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Because now he feels like I got a right to be up over here. My baby over here, I got a right to, you know, damn now, like this my house too. You know what I'm saying? Why do you, are you, were you seriously asking the question or was it rhetorical? I'm, I'm seriously asking the question. I it's not like that. everybody, I feel like that everybody is making excuses for Kiki. You know what I'm saying? Kiki <laughs> should not have stayed in that relationship. She didn't know that man well, well enough to be trying to go and get uh no therapy with him he ain't got no money the only thing that he had was you know but what the mama said that he was an immigrant you know what i'm saying he didn't really have nothing going on for it so he put his hand like what are we going to therapy for he probably was not no immigrant i think that you could i think that you could want for a person we all want for people to remove themselves from situations where they are being abused i think when it depends on your tone and the way that you choose to deliver it it can show a lack of empathy for somebody who's not ready to leave the situation. If I feel like Miss Sharon should have had that same energy that she had on that phone call with Darius. She should have had that same energy with Kiki the first time that she found out that he was that he put his hands on her. But I didn't hear something out really. I, I didn't hear Sharon say anything about him hitting her in the video in the in the in the call that Armand played. She no, didn't but say anything about him. He, she said harassing. Well, oh, remember he was he was egging her on. You got to remember that he was he was getting the information he wanted to be in to be put out there. I also wanted to this point was, hold out. on, hold on, really, really quickly, Gabor. This was also something that he put out. Uh, this was a text message from 2021 where he's telling Sharon that he hit me. She hit me. Um, where I read it, let me see that it's on the screen. It says, You cannot leave her, she is drunk. He says, She hit me. Then Sharon responds, You cannot leave her. Never would I thought she would. Her friends are with her. So, this, are, this is what he's putting out saying that Kiki was the aggressor in this situation to Sharon. Mm. On their podcast, also, I wanted to, um, on, on their podcast that they recently did before all of this went down. Casey Palmer had made a statement about if something happens, I take that to the closet. It's between me and my man. It was referencing to um, he had asked Darius had asked her, you know, if a woman's wearing my jersey, you know, what are you? And she comes to you as a as a woman. What would you do? And that was her response. And so going to what Gabar is saying about, well, why didn't the mom have the same energy initially? Who's to say that the mom was even aware that this was happening or even happening to this degree? early on in the relationship. Again, it circles back to that piece of, we don't have the full picture. So to kind of throw out hypothetical questions or questions based on facts we don't have, it still trivializes what happened and what we do have in front of us. Well, whenever she found out, whenever she found out, she went to the brother and told the brother, she didn't, tell, she didn't encourage her daughter to leave the situation or make her daughter leave the situation. Do you know that you for fact? Make somebody grown well, she, something she's not said, ready to do. He was, she was still with him after she went to Sh Sharona's last year, though, right? Absolutely, but Kiki's a grown woman, and and who's to okay. say that the mother didn't act? What I'm saying strive. is, she didn't make him. She didn't. But make that's her. a grown woman. Well, so how how can that other grown woman make that grown woman leave that man? 
you know, that's what I'm saying. We don't know if that intervention happened or not. But the point is, Kiki Palmer and the man that she chose to create this family unit with, like you said, they tried to go to therapy. They tried to work it out. They tried to have that family intervention. So clearly it was love there. Clearly whatever was happening, they thought they could resolve it through the tools of therapy and family intervention. So it was something they thought they could fix. And I think hindsight is twenty twenty. Of course, you could look. I'm sure Kiki's looking at it now and saying, "Yes, she should have left the first time, and wish she probably was strong enough to do so, wise enough, whatever words you want to use." I don't think that anybody thinks that she had to do it all over again. She would have chosen to stay. But and another thing, we don't tell people, "Oh." Um, we do encourage people to leave the first time. I've never heard nobody say, girl, if he hit you one time, it's no big thing. Just go on and stay in there. Maybe by the third time, it'll be over. Like, I ain't never heard nobody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on. I can tell you exactly what Kiki said to the mom when the mom tried to get her out of the situation. Nobody control me. I'm not going to let nobody stop me, tell me who I got to be with, what I got to do. And I'm not going to let anybody tell me what I got to do with my career. I don't belong to none of you. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. You can come to your mom and your mom can be a voice of reason for you, but it's only once the abuse victim decides to leave that they're going to leave. What were you saying, Gabor? What I'm saying is it seems like when you say that somebody should have left the first time, it seems like that it's all these excuses to why a, a person couldn't leave. No, it's not just that. It's because people who are empathetic that know that there are reasons why people stay. Yes, you're advised to get out the first time. But if you didn't and something happens afterwards, I'm not going to not care that you continue to be abused because you didn't leave the first time. You still are being abused. And at this point, why are we dwelling on the fact that you stayed and not helping you get out now or helping you survive? Survive now that you left. What is why are we going back and what it could is and should us? Everybody got 2020 vision, and that's when you say stuff like that where you actually are blaming the victim. And if it was that it's easy not, to I'm go, but, but I'm saying if it's it was that blame. easy to go, nobody would be quote unquote in a abuse, an abusive relationship. All relationships would be one and done. Everybody has a litany of different reasons. Some people, it might be finance. You don't know if it's one kid, 10 kids, whatever. Some people might stay because they're fearful to leave. You don't know what threats was given. Some people don't have large families. Some people don't have friends. You're just assuming that your situation is everybody else's situation. So if the way you would handle the situation is how, of course, I would have, like, Gabor, I can hear you saying, my mama would never, my brothers, my sisters, what if you're the only child? What if your mama dead and your father dead and it's just you? You don't we know. Talk we talk about Kiki. We not. And Kiki no, has the money and Kiki, the means to do what Money she needs means to do. nothing. You don't know how. It does mean something when you're in a situation. Was. It does mean something. When you're okay, in a so then why did Tina Turner money, stay? Why did Tina Turner stay? There's a lot of rich people with money. I don't know. We talk about Kiki. We talk about Kiki. But now, Q, you always talk about me cutting you off, but now you cutting me off. Well, because you talk about, because we talk about Kiki. Hold on. This is not Fox Soul. We cannot behave like this. This is not Dr. Heavenly and Al Reynolds. We can't do it, y'all. To me, I just feel like, for me, and I, I feel sorry for anybody that's going through a domestic dispute. But for me, I feel like a person that is going through, to me, if a person is going upside your head, you know, or abusing you, I feel like anywhere is safer than there. But here's and I just won't. And I, to me, I just in my head can't see it any other way because you, you can, gotta make it there can, first. How many people die? In, I was say, how many people get unalived on their way to the police station? But how many people get? Safe, but my my thing is saying that you have to stay in this abusive relationship with this person. You're not safe there. Sometimes right. it's safer yeah. by so staying instead of making a rash decision and planning on how to get out. The um center well, for what was the planning um, because the baby is there now. But it's what I'm saying is here's, here's, here's the thing. Your you're in a relationship you, that's you're told to you at the center for oh, um, domestic the violence. They tell you to plan your escape. So this isn't just something that I'm saying. If you go and you ask or even you call the national hotline, this, that, and third, they tell you that it's safer that you plan, okay? It's not something that we're just saying. 
But listen, but the, we're talking the, about the, Kiki Palmer situation. Right, right. Who has but understand. the money and the means to do what she needs to do, and it doesn't make any sense that you sit there and had a baby with somebody who was knocking you upside your head okay. the first month you got with him. Okay, okay. So you know, had a baby. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But yet, until this man broke into her house and was so allegedly standing over when she woke up one morning. So how did the money and the means? She had already had the baby. Up? She had already. But had it doesn't baby. matter. Oh, but she didn't. Okay. Know she was another baby. Mentally Can we talk okay. about if this person was your friend to the two guys? If this person was your friend and you found out that she was being abused, say it was Kiki, and you found out she was being abused, is this what you're going to keep spitting in her face? No, but you, no, no, that's, that's not what we're okay, talking Okay, then this is, well, let's, let's get past I mean, can that. we answer the question? Y'all got to let us answer the question if you want to get the question. Time, I answer it. Friend, the first time my friend would have told me that, I would have helped her get up out of there that first time and told her to leave. After the first time, I don't really want to hear anything else about somebody exactly. can be killed. Somebody can be killed trying to help you leave again. And now everybody is in this messy water that you chose to stay in. Is what well, I'm saying. And okay, and I agree. I it, totally it, agree with thing, you. Even on that, real quick, Thomas. Even with the whole thing is with the whole Kiki and people ask for where was her dad and where was this and y'all people keep on saying, oh well, we don't want her daddy to get involved. That's basically saying that if you was and your husband was upstairs and y'all heard an intruder come in, that he you want him to go downstairs. That's completely different. And, and, it's it's not the same thing. It, it's it's he, not he going over there messing. Her mother going over there messing with a man that has abused her. That man could have offed her for, for coming over she there, and there. it would have been better for her to send the daddy over there. I, well, she never made it over there. That part I was confused about because you were on this phone going back and forth with this man and ain't no one called the police. No one's in the car driving over there to make sure she's OK so this guy can get out the house. Nobody was doing that. But my point and what I'm saying is because I've had friends in this situation, if they don't listen, all you can do is give them your their advice. Everybody ain't got to listen to what you say. And you may have that attitude with your friends. Well, if he kill you, that's on you. But for uh, me, I didn't for, wait, 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 wait. For that's me, not what I said. for me, if my friend is not listening to me and it happens to where she's coming back and complaining about the same thing, I'm going to keep, I'm going to say to her, well, I told you to leave. What, what is it you want to do? What, what, what do you want to do? Because you, you now you you in danger and you coming over here where he can follow you over here. So what is it? You need to go to police now. I'm not gonna keep throwing in her face. Well, you don't had a baby with him. Ain't That's nothing not you can do. You better go back over there and get beat up I and, feel like and take I'm it. Misinterpreting what I said. What I said. No, was but that this is how time, it's sounding when you're well, saying. Let me explain what you what I'm gotta let you, you gotta talk. Time, and get it out. After the first time my friend had came up to me and told me something where there was no babies and anything involved, I would have told her to let's let's go. Let me help you get your stuff and let's go. At times down the line now, it's a baby and stuff involved. A baby that he's involved with, that's very much his baby as much as it her as, as it's her baby. St more stuff is involved now, and you're trying to leave later now. You could the person that is trying to help you out can get off and unalive. I just want to point out what I was saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no retorts. I'm sorry. Um, technically. We just helped somebody out like that. We just did that fundraiser for Tierra Scott. She was a person who was helping an abuse victim and she was unalive. So there are so many different points. And y'all, we got a lot going on on this chat. Uh, Mimi says, Gabor, the closer, do your thing, boo. Gabor has incited violence. Don't know. I did. <laughs> you kind of uh, Danielle did. says, Kaboom, Gabor has stepped into the room. Uh, Kat says, How do you feel about yourself? Is what you attract. Technically, sometimes when your self-esteem is low, you can attract people who will feed off that. A lot of abusers do that. Um, so that is a, a valid point. Tanisha yeah, said, a weakness. so he said it's her. Why did he stay? Um, I think that he stayed because it, it's a come up. Technically, him nor his brother really work. So um, Nosy Ho, Kiki exposed. What did she do? Armand Wiggins um, actually exposed all of Darius's receipts about Kiki. Darius alleges that Kiki actually put hands on him. He sent Armand these photos, uh, an excerpt from Kiki's book where Kiki did say that for her previous relationship, she actually was um, abusive towards her boyfriend. Um, and this 
receipt of his that on the day that the that they had their domestic violence dispute, um, no crime was committed. Those were his receipts. In addition to this um, text exchange from 2021, where he told Kiki's mother that she had hit him. So that was the exposure. Uh, Ali, people stay in relationships because they care about what people think. If they're a dusty or an abuser, people will keep the front of healthy relationships so they won't be embarrassed. I do think a lot of people do not come forward because there is embarrassment and they are ashamed that they have allowed somebody to do this to them and they should definitely not be. Girlfriend unfiltered, again, thank you for your super chat. But how do you break the psychological hole by making your friend leave? And what happens if your friend goes back? You're not in control of that. Uh, like Gabor says, you do want to breathe life into the person. I, I'm paraphrasing Gabor. You want to breathe life into the person and let them under and, or try to make them understand that they are better than allowing someone to physically abuse them. The problem is you can breathe life into somebody, but it's only when they take the steps to leave that they will leave. Um, but Gabor has every right if you have breathed life into somebody and you choose not to continue to do so because they keep going back. You have every right to do that. Lex, Gabor, the nuance is true. Um, so Gabor, you definitely had a, a fan base in the comments. Y'all, it's three hours. I love y'all. I really, really do. We'll probably, you know, come back to this topic, but it's been three hours. And although I let's come back tomorrow. Have me back on here. I gotta <laughs> eat. I gotta eat. I'm sorry. Don't I'm eat and stop not eating. I'm I, just to to stop that. Catherine, I just want to say to Catherine that I'm sorry that she went through that and you did not deserve that. Thank you. I I totally appreciate it. Y'all and I want to love each other. I just want to say oh. Say your real name. You don't have to be Catherine. What's your real name? Because we didn't curse. That all is my name. name. No, what is your screen name? Oh, oh, oh. I said what the fuck I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said what the fuck I said, ho. Mims just likes to hear that. I do. Good night, y'all. I gotta eat. Good my night, my is Good night. 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 Good